Bro, who are you doing that to? Mm. Hey! Hey! You're Put your dick in your pants. Guys. Hey, look! It's a little dead meme. <laughs> We're gonna fuck this town, fuck its ass in the, the fucking town tonight. Sorry, I don't know why that, uh, what are they, uh, Stray Cats, I think? I don't know why that's stuck in my head, but it is. Rock this town, rock this town tonight. <laughs> yeah, the, we're gonna rock, rock. I saw rock a cover of them, that's why, that's this what this it was in. We're gonna rock this nigga to the fucking ground, we're gonna rock this town. Alright, alright, alright. All right. Gay dudes laying around with cats and having sex with each other. While that song was playing over and over, what is this? Cat? Pretty interesting. Um, it's it the 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 gay cats. They're the rockabilly. The musical. Um, since gay sensation. Yeah, mm. it's uh it it they they have um a, a residency in Vegas, um with uh with Billy Joel. <laughs> Billy okay, Joel. <laughs> all right. I well, believed you for a little bit. I believed for a little bit, and I was like, oh yeah, okay. This, this is, this is mine. All right. Well, welcome, welcome to the Snark Tank Podcast. Uh, yeah. Yeah, it's it's us. We're here again. Uh, De- we did so it. Derek said he had a very specific subject in mind. So I think I'm gonna. <laughs> I'm just I don't I don't know what it is. We've Let's not prepared yeah. for this at we all. Did, we didn't discuss anything before. We just met I up just, and started recording. Now um, you'll know what I'm talking about once I mention it. Just because okay. like there okay. there, I don't know what's happening with uh so. You know, obviously, uh, Swin, you're a big fan of hip hop. Uh, okay. You dabble in hip hop a, a bit, uh, Chris. And mm. I, I don't know what's going on right now, but there's like these guys that are on the right that are like popping up now. Oh yeah, and yeah. they're becoming like sensational, like viral rappers <laughs> or something. And I, I can't for the life of me. I, I guess it. it it's what it's one of those things, right? I guess it's one of those things where it's just, uh, oh, they're on my team, so I like it because otherwise, of course, I just yeah. can't. There's no. no it is now. I want to ask the question. So, uh, what brought it up for the people that don't know? So, uh, a bunch of people have been, you know, threatening Target and shit because their Pride Month stuff that they've been doing since mm. I fucking forever. I don't know. They always like put Pride shit in there. Yeah, they've been doing it for quite some time. Yeah. So now, no, no, like, no, like, you know, 2014. something it's been a long time 14. to the point where, like, I just I, you can't pinpoint it because it's just in the background. Oh, it's June and there's rainbows and shit. OK, fucking cool. Uh, oh, OK. Well, that sounds a little June. interesting. I mean, nothing to do with gays. I'm, I'm talking about Pride Month. And then you're I like, I hate people. June. <laughs> I just hate June. But it's not doing gay yeah. people at all. Well, what's what's wrong with what, what you want to do to you? No, I hate Sean. <laughs> I hate June because that's when it starts getting crazy. That's when it starts getting crazy hot here. Mm. Yeah, yeah it's already it getting like hot ridiculously hot. And then by August you. is just pain. I feel like I'm not a huge fan of the summer. Um, it's uh, yeah, it's hot. Uh, Nothing to do with gay people. Let them they, they thrive. Thrive, uh, my yeah, queer friends. Yeah, maybe. All right, listen, listen. Know. people. People know. People know your origins. So I don't know, <laughs> but. Yeah, so so it's it was it was a pro- yeah I I don't know what the outfit is called I don't know what the the group or like what the artist is but they they did some kind of thing where they shot a video in Target and they were rapping about how Target is I don't know making you gay or something. Uh, Target I, I, I kind of yeah I, I, is it good I bars? I mean I I it's look it's it's I will say this it's not it's the worst thing I've ever heard. Was there a solid no. sixteen? No. It's not the worst thing I've ever heard. It's the the actual substance that is just <laughs> it's brain melting. Like it, it's like well, they're you, rapping about Target. Well, it's so, it's, it's so, one of those things. Yeah. Well, so here's here's the genius of it, right? Is that you've got to market. If it, it's look, I'm gonna say this like this is this is very clearly true. You've got to market if you're if you're in music. You got to market to the people who don't know they can stream or steal. Okay, you got to market to people who are still buying songs. And the only yeah, people yeah. who are really buying songs are, you know, elderly, you know, of a of a certain persuasion ideologically. 
And uh, that's <laughs> like because I because really I saw because I saw I saw recently no, I saw no, I, I guarantee you because I saw what is it they were like they topped the chart on iTunes and I'm like well yeah. <laughs> <laughs> who the exactly. fuck buys? Who the fuck is buying music anymore? Like, are you, what was the last? Guess who else? Topped? I can't remember the who who, who, who else. Guess topped? who else? Uh, uh, Tim Pool. Like, <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, it's the people who buy music still, <laughs> and like nobody fucking buys. I I don't buy music anymore at all. Like, there's no there's I, there's no. It's I almost remember more, the last album. I yeah, bought. it's it's more inconvenient to buy. Like that's the thing about streaming, right? That's the thing about streaming, like TV shows and like all this other stuff. It is generally speaking more convenient to, you know, to buy all those things. You know, it is more convenient. It's like, oh, I'll buy that thing or whatever, and I'll have it. But like with with music, it's whoa, 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 whoa. what is that? Do you hear that? Is that is that uh? Whoa, hold on. No, no. There might be. Is that a nerdy ghost? No, what no, we, no. What are we, what's... Oh. I, was, I don't think you guys can hear it. People are fighting. No, right? we can't hear what's happening. Oh, shit. All these people, people fighting? I mean, I hear it pretty... <laughs> They're like... Oh, let me close my doing? window. I don't want... What's the matter, you? There's hey. nobody over par- They're fighting, <laughs> fighting over a parking space. Cut that out. It'd be Mexicans. It'd be... Um, I don't remember what... I don't remember what the fight was saying. Don't you know I'm local? <laughs> I don't remember what I was saying at this hey, point. Hey, Holmes. That was really jarring. Fucking, uh, no, you're talking about the the yeah, the that there's a certain demographic that uh, that buy this shit, but um, yeah, so you can see. But it, what's fascinating to me about more than anything is how these people look. As I've seen one of the guys before, I forget his name. It's something stupid as hell, but uh, he just he he I don't know. He looks like a hamburger with like a piece of his beard missing. It's like it, like right where the chin is. It shaved down, and it's one. Of, he looks like one of those bizarre people. And then you gotta the stick other out. guy that's in the music video, and I and I tweeted this out because I and I and I'm not like making a joke. When I saw the guy, I 100 percent thought he was AI generated. I thought like there was like something. I thought it was a joke or something. I was I was like, Who, what the fuck is this? And then I I it was like, oh, it's the guy in the video. There's this dude. Like they're both did you fat. Tweet, did shit, you tweet right? it? Yeah, yeah. Like I was just, I, <laughs> what is this guy? I, was fuck, I just, I thought he was fake. I was like, dude, this guy. There's no I way this guy's this fucking. This guy was fake. Like you look at him, his beard is so like, <laughs> like looks like it was just put on his face by like it was like some spirit gum, bro. What were and we just talking the, about? What were we just talking about in the last episode about like like th- there is a <laughs> scary chin under there. There is a scary. Yeah, yeah. T- if you're willing to have a beard like that, man, like holy shit. There's a scary looking guys. shit. To the people uh, listening, you 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 got to see these people so you can really have a visual because I'm way more interested in how these people look than like what they did because yeah the 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 political rap on the uh, conservative side has been kind of popping up. In the past few years, and some people would ask me, hey, what do you think about so-and-so? And I'm just every single time without fail, I'm like, oh, they're garbage. Like, you know, it's not even about, it's like, it's literally not about, like, their their ideology. It's like, it's it's fucking garbage. I'm like, I'm sorry, I don't know, I don't know what to tell you. This yeah, isn't, it, it, you know, it's not it, good it, it music. Reminds me, it reminds me of, do you, do you remember Latigre? And uh, yes, how dude. they made that, they made that <laughs> Hillary Clinton song, and it was, and it's, it's. It harkens back to a lot of that stuff where you would you would hear this really politically charged but very vapid rap or like song, and I've all I just always hated it. Like I I don't care like where it's coming from. I don't care like who's singing it from what perspective. It just it sounds fucking bad. It's it's like right. not good because it's not really from like a particular ex- thing. It's like it's. It's like pop culture politics in music, and it just like it doesn't, it doesn't work. It it it, it never it, it never worked. It didn't work in twenty sixteen when like left leaning people were doing it. It's it's not working now. If you if you like it, if you look, if you're sitting there and you're listening to the Target song, uh, Kingston's giving some nice beard ASMR to the microphone for you guys, I guess. Uh, <laughs> the if you listen to it now. 
if you listen to that Target song now and you're like, man, this is pretty good, I want you to understand that what you are right now are what the people who were bumping La Tigre on Ironically in 2016 were to me. Like, yeah. that is exactly yeah. – like, I don't know how the fuck you could possibly enjoy this. Because it's not good. Look, at the very a... least, at the very least, it's like not – you're not going to want to kill yourself necessarily after it. But that's like the, but the you know, you just kind of go like, oh, that was definitely a choice. And then you move on. I just, man, yeah. it's bad. I want to be, I want to be clear. Like there's a difference. Uh, like say, uh, I feel like most people within our generation grew up. Um, they know police truck by dead Kennedys because of Tony Hawk or some shit. Right. They yeah. know like the dead Kennedy is a very political band. I mean, they have, you know, one of their most popular songs called Nazi Punk's Fuck Off, right? Uh, the thing is, it's not. It's like these people, that's how they've always existed. That is their thing. It's not yeah. like, say, this artist that existed outside of politics and then latched on to some stupid bullshit. Yeah. Where it just it's always translates awful. And the, it, it reminds me of, uh, remember when Eminem... Did his freestyle that Trump the hot oh, the uh, cipher? Yeah, that's yeah. an awfully hot coffee pat and uh, fire. So I was <laughs> yeah yeah I was so, so I made two different versions. One of them never saw the light of the day, but I asked Anthony Fantano because I know he's like he's pretty good. Obviously, that's what he does for a living. I was like, hey, I made a serious one that was kind of like with a more serious tone, and it was kind of taking kind of shots at Eminem a little bit because that this is cringe. And then I had the one that was just nonsensical bullshit. I went with obviously that one. I went with the latter because yeah, yeah. Anthony was like, uh, "This this other one's gay." He was like, "This is just this is," and I was like, "You're right. Like it just feels <laughs> stupid." It, and and uh, you know that Bud Light thing that happened recently. This so, other one's uh, gay. <laughs> it just yeah. totally. It just yeah. It, and I was like, I was like, I totally. That's why I even asked because I was like, this feels kind of dumb. I don't think. Uh, I don't think. Uh, it's gonna resonate. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I, I'm fucking. I'm thir I iced that. My vocabulary. I can't take that on my vocabulary. You the can. Whole, the you, whole, just, like, you just. You just don't have. I the, just, you just can't. Just, you just haven't yet. <laughs> my brain just does never thinks about dudes sucking cock when I use it in that way. Like that's like it's so divorced from it being like derog like being uh what is the word uh like homophobic or whatever yeah, derogatory vulgar. towards like gay people like it doesn't even um I, I, chris uh we we went to fuck uh we were at uh what the why were we at a skate place i can't even remember we were at a skate we what like the hell a, did we go to a skate place we went to like a hold on like a uh, what the hell are you oh talking God. about we no no, no okay wait hold on skate place? my brain's hold on hold oh, on hold on oh, um, oh wait wait are you talking about the roller rink that that party yeah yeah, why, why were we there? I don't remember. That was what a birthday we party. That was there? like I think Lacey's birthday party because Tay Sunday was there. Okay, okay. Now, now I'm back on track. Um, when I, <laughs> I could, yeah, I, it's hard to think on the fly. I was like, why the fuck so was I even ago. there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I was, <laughs> but um, I remember there was this uh, one. Of, yeah, okay, okay. Yeah, it was Lacey's friend that was in like a romper, gay as shit, dude. Dude was ultra gay. And uh, I think I saw like a real, I saw something adorable happen. I don't remember what it was, but I was like, oh, that's so gay. And then, you know, that dude gave me a look kind of like, like, hmm, like, like, what do you mean by that? And, and, and I literally told him, I was like, I don't know, bro. Like that, that kind of, in that context, like that just means precious. And then in the other context, like I was talking with Anthony Fanatano, that just means dumb. Like I just don't like it. Just it just means different. it's like, like a, it's, it's so a, divorced you know it from it's actual. A, yeah, it's, a, it's it's a sentence enhancer. It's like a blank <laughs> space in in Scrabble where it's just like gay. It just means whatever whatever you're gonna whatever like, you I, like I get it. whatever like I get you it. assume. Don't get me wrong. It's almost you know what yeah. it is. It's almost like you could turn around at people. It's like what do you mean? Like what you what did you think I meant? You can't really yeah. turn around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What did you, you just, think like, I meant? No, you, you, Cause, no, what do you think I meant? Right? I don't, I don't like, get it. I, I, you a homophobe? What do you think I meant? Per, every, every queer person I know yeah. doesn't take offense to anyone saying. Well, most, sure. most. I wouldn't sure. say all. Most. Yeah, of I would, the, most. I would, I would say. I would say the overwhelming most, majority. Most. Yeah, I would say by most. like by yeah. like a lot. Most. most I know at least. I'm not saying I'm not going to demographics I don't understand. But like, most it's like how I most retards I know don't really care if you say. Yeah, if, I mean that's know many I people literally that are retarded. So that's you why I'm don't? not gonna. I'm not gonna. I don't know many retarded people. <laughs> yeah, you, are you do. Sure? You're on the internet. Of course you do. No, I don't. I don't know. Of course you do. You're on the internet. I know a few people that are like, 
you know, they have like autism, but that's not mental retardation. That's autism. That's <laughs> yeah, a different yeah, that's, thing. That's, you know? that's a different thing. Yeah. Yeah, yeah but, I don't know many people to, who are. But truly to your retarded. point, though, I haven't met. I know a handful of autistic people because of the internet, and zero of them are like, "Ah, oh, don't say that shit" or "Don't make fun of." Like they're they're all they in on in the fact joke say too. It the most. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So I mean, like it, obviously, like you know, we're sounding kind of ignorant as fuck right now. But oh, it's absolutely. Still, but I'm a, it's still. <laughs> but I'm gonna stand still. on my toes. I'm gonna stand ten toes down. That's I, what I'm I under, talking about. We, I, I, I don't say any. I try not to say it. Let me say I don't say it. That's a lie. Yeah. Because I, just, I get <laughs> mad. I get <laughs> mad while I'm playing while I'm playing video games, and sometimes the powerful f word comes out of my mouth, and then I'm like, I can't be saying that when I get <laughs> mad at video games, and I like scold myself from it. I'm like, I you can't. See, there's no way after saying this in a video game. Just you, pretend you're British, man, because British motherfuckers are always like. I don't understand oh, you guys, oh, and, and that, and that. Why, why is faggot so offensive? It's just, uh, it's, it's some like meat it's with gravy on it or some shit. Derek, have you seen, that have you seen thumbnail what that you made? Are? That thumbnail that you made for the last crazy. episode, I could not believe it when I saw it. That was offensive <laughs> as shit, dude. I, I recoiled in fear when I saw it. Like when I saw it live in, on YouTube. I was like, I can't believe Derek did this. <laughs> Derek makes the most cursed, uh, the most cursed thumbnails. <laughs> it's fucking was, crazy. It's a fun part. It's like I. It's the only part that I actually enjoy doing. Where I'm like, when I'm slapping this shit together, I'm like, oh god, it's all tedious. But then yeah, when it's yeah. thumbnail time, I'm like, cool. Let's uh, let's. It's throw like a reward. It's like a reward when you're done. Like I felt pretty. <laughs> it's been a, like I. I never, <laughs> I never tried to go like outrageous with thumbnails. Really, like I always just sort of tried to keep them like relatively clean. Yeah. But like, <laughs> so like I never had like I, if you look at the, the thumbnails that Derek makes versus the ones that I made, it's like night and day. It's like it's like I threw, did such little effort into the thumbnails, and now they're like fucking <laughs> so <laughs> jarring. What I actually it? felt was, really uh, good. So- like the most recent uh, video I did, I felt pretty good about the thumbnail. But even that was like really really toned down in comparison it's not fucking photorealistic <laughs> yeah we should we should we should uh we should uh celebrate that you after how fucking long released a uh, yeah, a yeah. proper video on your on your channel yeah it's been a long time i i <laughs> i i thought so I, the thumbnail part of that right that image of yeah. like weirdly animated golem on the ground with like a middle fi- like I love that thumbnail so much. He looks like he's been yeah. fucking molested and just beat <laughs> down to a crisp. I can't I can't believe that. That's not even like I didn't edit that at all. It's just it's that's just from the game. Yeah. It's beautiful. <laughs> but uh Yo, yeah. that dude with the fucking beard <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so funny. Dude, it's so that's you know what's crazy. It's like you see a thing like that. He's what he's talking about is like there's like obviously Lord of the Rings Gollum came out. It's like this fucking horrible Lord of the Rings game where you for some reason play as Gollum. <laughs> I don't know why they decided to do this, but right there's a there's like an old man in the game and his beard like is stuck on like a very rigid animation and so it like moves independently like by itself. <laughs> And I, I saw it and I was like, it's been so long since I've seen that in a video game. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, I, like, because that looked familiar. Like, that kind of bug or that kind of glitch where, like, maybe clothes bend in, like, a way that they shouldn't or, like, hair bends yeah. in a way that shouldn't, that is really old. St- that's, like... That's old video games. That's, like, early 360, you, like, latest. The last time it, and this happened, and this is how bad uh this was, it was... uh. It was um, uh, WWE, I think it was 2K21? I can't remember, but it was just a few years ago where it was it was that much of a disaster where, to your point, there were bugs in the game that, like, people hadn't seen in qu- quite some time. Yeah. Um, if, if anybody listening, if you just go watch Dunkey, uh, Dunkey's video on it, and it just showcases them, you know, in, in a small video perfectly. Yeah. Of how fucking stupid that game was, how impossibly broken it was, and, and like here you go again with this fucking shit. It's what like it's, how- it's it's almost it's broken in a nostalgic way because <laughs> this game in its broken state played like games that weren't broken in like two thousand three. You know, where like you're you're clipping through <laughs> yeah, the ground yeah. and like it's just like it's <laughs> animations what are fucked. My mind 
what blows my mind is that I've I've read those books, I've watched those movies. Yeah, you're, I watched yeah, the Amazon you're a Lord show. Of, you're a Lord of the Rings guy. Yeah, you're one Who of those. Who uh... the fuck wants to play as Gollum, dude? Zero people. Gollum did you guys sucks. did you play the Shadow that games? Is, that the is Shadow Mordor po- and Shadow War. Literally, you threaten to kill Gollum all the time yeah. in those games, like consistently. There was a, uh, I think in the in Shadow War, there was you had to like he, he was like escorting you at one point, and I was so upset. I was so upset, like fuck this guy. I think it might have been in both games. I don't know. I just yeah, remember he's in both. I just remember like Order being Lisa, annoyed. I I remember specifically that because um, for some reason I don't know what the hell is going on with my Steam version, but I even fucking I re-verified the files and I just couldn't get past a mission. It just yeah. would. I, I I never finished the game. It it just kept fucking it's, up it's, on it's me. It's all Gollum's fault, one. is what that sounds like. It's, 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 <laughs> it sounds like it's all fucking Gollum. You know what's fu- you know what's funny? Lit. No joke. I think the first uh, mission that you do, the first quest that you do, where he's escorting you through some place, it was that. There was, like, some body you're supposed to find that would just not appear, and I couldn't do anything. <laughs> and it was like, you needed, you needed to track where he was going, and he was leading you to some shit. Yeah. And it was that piece of shit. He ruined that game for me. In the new, in the new, in the new Gollum game, you play that exact thing. Mission, but from his perspective, where you're telling people to go. Certain, <laughs> like, I'm lying. not even joking. I'm not even joking. I, not well. You well. I, I'm exaggerating. You don't play that sp- exact like with okay. that character. Okay, but, I was like, you're but, lying. They put but, that in there. That's not been great. That would have been so no. funny. No, that's that attention so to detail. That's actually kind of impressive. No, no, no. It's not. I'm like that's it's madness. Not literally, the scene, but it's that. Scenario. It's Gollum yeah. telling a person to go do a thing and escorting him to go do it. And it's like, I, I don't know, man. Lord of the. <laughs> Lord Can of... he do anything cool in that game? No. I haven't really, like. He can no. pick up a rock. He can, he can bash your head in with a rock. That's a fucking sec. <laughs> Dude, it's so bad. It's, it's awesome. It's so funny, too, because this year's been a fucking banger year already for like video games as far as like dude it's hitting hard like street fighter 6 is about to come out it'll be out by the time most of you are hearing this and it's apparently Uh fucking dope um, yeah, I'm gonna play that game so much Diablo oh, Lord. Diablo 4 40, is around the, 40 around bucks the corner and CD keys right now what the street fighter any, 4 any, yeah any you broke any uh, street fighter 6 yeah any you broke ass motherfuckers you go on cdkeys.com you can get it for 40 bucks so. I'm, not get, I'm not getting it for PC because being for PC is kind of stupid yeah, I understand. But uh, yeah, I understand. Like, I, like people getting fighting games on PC. I'm like, I understand, but like, that's dumb. <laughs> that's yeah, not it's, smart. It's more about I mean, the. It's more about the the fact that like, oh, this is where I play. So like, obviously, I'm gonna. Yeah, it's that's really, where you play. Yeah. But like, f- it's a fighting game. Yeah, that means you'll never be able to like. Yeah, let's. I'll bring it downstairs. You gotta lug your whole PC downstairs and plug it in. Let me turn on yeah, Steam. It, quick, it, is, you know? it, it is. It is one of the only like r- truly like console centric genres as far as like. This is definitely something that is more more of what it could be at its maximum potential on console rather than PC. Yeah, at like, least, like from on, like a ge- on from a general standpoint, yeah. I I, I can't, you know. There's some I'm people gifted who... a PC one. I'll keep it, but I'm playing. But, it on, but... I'm playing it on console. Mm. Well, actually, no mods, 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 mods bro, mods, the mods especially. No. You know, oh, no, Cammy, Chun Lee, Marissa, that big bitch, yeah. that large bitch, bro. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> just wait. Just wait till these motherfuckers work their magic. I don't on know. It. Oh, yeah, I've dude. been on a large woman crack for a little bit. I'm just like, dude. I want to get picked up. <laughs> you know, I want someone to pick not me up. Not the cards. Not the cards. I know any woman that any big any huge woman to me is a giant. You're gonna so have to. That's just a big creature. You're gonna fi- have to find like the elephant bitch. Or something <laughs> like somebody, somebody with like a drastic elephantitis in every part of her body to even remove. Yeah, I'm like, damn, girl, you huge. What your number is? That's why I was like, I wish Lily was like seven three, bro. That makes so my life so three. much better. She would be yeah. dead in five years probably because she wouldn't be able <laughs> to. Five, <laughs> years, how tall she is. five years full of love, bro. I just want like, but only her legs are like that. You know, she's just as short as she is, except for minus her legs. <laughs> Plus her legs that make her seven three. Her she legs, has, like... her legs are 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 five feet long. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god! Oh she's my god! Like, like, long legs. <laughs> fucking stilts with her legs. Oh, that would be so god. awesome. 
That'd be I so hate fucking it, man. awesome. Everybody, I, I, I never, I, I'm losing that, losing that part of my life being able to be picked up, being able to reach up for someone and just. Do, do you even remember that? No, I don't. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Like, I'm, I'm, I have no nostalgia picking, for it because I don't remember that shit. My family stopped picking me up when I was like fucking two. <laughs> They were like, walk now. You learn how to do this. Do that. That's awesome. Ew, Kingston's so big. Ew. I don't want to hold him. Ew. <laughs> Not even, I, the thing is, I wasn't big. I wasn't a big kid. I was actually really short. I just no, I just like the, I like the idea of just like, small kid. You, you want to like, you nah. hold, hold the baby? Ew, no. It's so big. Ew. <laughs> when Ew, you, uh, they pull it, they recoil their hands back and they drop me. <laughs> <laughs> they wipe Ugh. their hands. They wipe their hands on their shirt, even though they didn't even touch you. Yeah, because <laughs> it's like just the sight of you. Yeah, I, I don't know, man. It's uh... why won't people hold me? <laughs> <laughs> Do you guys ever play? Um, Do you guys ever play? Uh, I think it was um, no. Ghost of God of War, Ghost of Sparta. Where, that's the uh, PSP one, the PSP? right? Oh no, no, yeah. yeah. I'm thinking of Chains of Olympus. I think oh, actually. That's, that's PSP also. Where it's, no. it's but yeah, I'm still thinking about Is that it? though. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. The Chains of Olympus is the first one that came out. Chains and Ghost um, of Sparta are PSP. Where, where, um, so you reignite. You're in Elysium, and you and you're with oh, your, your daughter, daughter? Priope, and fucking, you're like <laughs> content. And you just start pushing her away. You start button mashing to Dude, push her away. That is the I imagine funniest, that is the funniest <laughs> quick time event in video games. It's so pushing, funny. Pushing your daughter away, like she's hugging you. You're like, no, you're pushing her away. <laughs> you and then you gotta mash. You, you change weapon. You, you change number. Because first it's circle, then it becomes triangle. <laughs> and you gotta mash her away. It's so fucking funny. Like you yeah, know, like, those assholes were laughing their asses off when they made they that. They were like, yo, we should make Kratos shove. He doesn't even shove her with any anger. He just kind of moves her off of him. He slightly just pushes her off. That's what's so funny about it. And she's so- not letting go. She's a tough one. One, bro. No. <laughs> yeah, he's like vaguely perturbed, but that's really about it. <laughs> he's like, dang, I really um, got to go back out here and do some bullshit. Yeah, but that's why I imagine what your parents did to you. That's what, that was the whole point why I brought that up. <laughs> Push me away at every <laughs> they're turn. Just, they're just button matching. Someone was QTEing them too. <laughs> My grandma know. was like, Grandma, can I have a hug? She's just like, dun, 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 dun. <laughs> Jesus fucking dun, dun. Did you, uh, are you guys, so, I, I can't jokes. imagine that any of us saw this, What's but that? The Little Mermaid is out. I saw it. You saw you it? actually Why? saw it? Yeah, I have a girlfriend who loves Little, that's her favorite Disney movie. Oh my fucking but, god. But the fucking live action's always garbage. You, I'll say, so I'll be real, I'll be real with you guys real quick, okay? Oh man, this is gonna be bad. Be real. I did not like it. Of course not. Like Shocker. I don't care. I don't care about the Little Mermaid. I've never liked that movie ever. Yes, I've you're, never. You're a, you're, a, you're a cis um, het male. I've never liked it. Right. I've never liked it. I thought Flounder was adorable when I was little. I was like, oh, Flounder's adorable. I hated Sebastian for being Jamaican because everybody was like, you're Jamaican like Sebastian the Crab, and I was like, har 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 har. Mm-hmm. I would try to bite their jugular when I was a kid, but I hate. I like. It's just. Haley, um, Haley, um, whatever her name is, the girl, the singer. Haley Bailey. 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 No, ha- oh, Haley Bailey. Bailey. Way around. Haley Bailey. Haley, Haley Bailey. Yeah, Haley. Haley. No, no. Haley. Haley. Haley yeah. Bailey. Haley Bailey. Yeah. She yeah. is a good singer. Very, yeah. very oh, good singer. Of course. Um, the music was nice. Uh, the aesthetic uh, was this time we were in the Caribbean. So it was obviously the Caribbean's most beautiful place on the planet. So obviously it was beautiful sets and nice islands and obviously a lot of like uh latino and caribbean people doing fucking some of the 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 dances that we all do everything oh, be- it was beautiful forced uh forced diversity is so woke bro you know so, fucking woke. <laughs> so woke so it, it was really nice it was it was pretty visual moments but as soon as you got moments where you saw the animals, that's when I was like, this is just stupid. The second you saw the just characters. A regular, <laughs> that is just a regular bird. Aquafina was so annoying. Aquafina, I look, girl, go to bed. Go go to bed forever. Who the fuck is that? So, I, don't even, I don't even know who Aquafina is. Yeah, what, what is that? It, unfortunately. No, what, what, what is that? What are you talking about? Aquafina is that Asian girl from Shang-Chi. She's the comedic Japanese girl. Not Japanese. I think she's Chinese. Oh, she was the 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 comedic relief, uh, like to the counterpart or whatever. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I hated that fucking. I thought it was disgusting. I, why, I don't even know why they got to put that shit in there, man. I'm like, bro, just 
Just make a fucking make that guy just whoop everyone's ass and snap everyone's necks. We go home. We're having a good time. Yeah, but uh, just, yeah. she was I don't she know. was it's, bad. It's another Sebastian one of these. Singer was also it was good singing. I admit there was very very good singing. Yeah, it's the fine. problem with those movies. It's, it's, it's all the original that... songs. Of course, it's good. like uh, the, every well, every yeah, time right? I the, hear, the, the, the but art, done the worse though, right? Singing. But never the... as good, huh? Have you heard a better version in these live action ones than the original? Yes, like absolutely. The... This movie, this movie's music was better, hundred you... percent. From what I heard, because from what I heard, I completely disagree. The voice actors, that's why. No, that's, you're out of your why. fucking mind. No, they were I, better. They were better. They were, I, no, I, but Kingston, I think, Kingston, I think they, that's the they, reason they why they're voice way worse. actors in the original. They were singers. No, they weren't. The singer yeah, they for um, Ariel was not no. a singer. She was a voice actor. She is that's a voice so actor as well as a singer. So well, she could sing. Yeah, they hired sing. They hired one. She was not a. She was not a. I don't know, man. You look at fucking. I think but one of the was... reasons why the 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 voice I think it's better because th- their voices actually sounded animated and not just like flat fucking singing. Well, like the thing that I always the ones. thing that I always come back to is that the Beauty and the Beast with fucking Emma Watson or whatever, and how fucking horrible. She was so bad, bro. The guy like, that played Beast was an amazing singer. Her <laughs> so bad, so bad. I was Look. so angry listening to Emma Watson sing because I've never because I remember Chris she, can't remember this. she can't there sing. She can't. There was a long period of time where everybody was like saying she's the most pretty. She's so pretty, and I could not understand why people thought she was pretty. I think it was the I think it's holdovers from her being a girl from Harry Potter. People that liked Harry Potter thought sure. she was cute. I think yeah, it has to be that holdover. I mean, that's that's a hundred percent it. Because I of was course. like, I don't think she's very pretty. I never thought she was very pretty. I never understood why everybody thought she was very pretty, and I felt uh, in sings. I asked my friends. Everybody was like, Yeah, she's beautiful, and I'm like. That's kind of how I, I feel mean, about uh, Megan Fox. Uh, I Me- think Megan Fox is tra- uh, traditionally like attractive. Yeah, but sure. Megan Fox She's is pretty attractive. Is, it, Megan Fox is. I, I, I'm not even. Exa- I I know this is people are probably going to say I'm lying, right, or exaggerating. I'm not even remotely kidding. I I, I would absolutely. I would turn down Megan Fox, sincerely. Really? I, I sincerely, yeah. She's so bland. I mean, look- She's so she she just looks I like can, every single person I've ever fucking seen. I can say this: mm. a lot of girls mm-hmm. have her look, but not quite as nice as she looks as I them. Think, I think there's like a million people who look better than me. I, I never think I never think about her like so. I understand, but I when I do see her when she comes up, whenever I'm like, oh yeah, that's that's a very beautiful woman. Like, but it's, um, yeah, I mean, it's I just it's, but it's like I, 19, I don't eighties hot. Where it's like, because so she, she has uh, very, she has, but let me, let me, let me get back, let me get back to what I was saying, right? Oh, you, you really was in on Before I get too off, uh, uh, I thought you were about right. to, I thought you were going deeper on uh, Megan Fox. <laughs> you know, let, let me, let me, let me break no, this down. No, no, <laughs> it's, it's whatever. She's a famous woman there. They exist, whatever. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, I just thought that they were good singers, but that movie's not about, it's not those, in an animated, the animation allows to so much more magic. There's more magic in animation than there is in live action. This, so seeing the animation allows it to be more fun. It allows it to be more cool. Like seeing Flounder as just a regular fish was so boring. I was like, this is just a fish. That's just a fish. <laughs> that, that, that's what I thought about I've the Lion seen King. Though fish. Yeah, they're just the fucking lions. Lion King, yeah. I was like, yeah. "What the fuck is well, this?" No, Lion King. The problem. Lion, Lion King, King. I fucking hated. It had more I than hated that. Lion King. Well, of course, one, there was more problems, but the that was just saying that is a Lion major problem Beyonce, too. In fact, I would say I don't think so. I don't think that's the biggest big problem. problem. What the fuck? It's, it's one she of the biggest problems. She did, it, it, she it's did one not of the... allow Donald Glover to sing anytime they shared a song together, and she was singing over him literally. But that's not even the point. Like, it's the movie as a whole just sucked because it's so underwhelming. When you talk about animation. Particularly, the movement is so important. The frame skippings that you can do for, for for things to flow, you can't do in live action, which just sucks. It just becomes really underwhelming. It's like uh, like when you play a fucking fighting game, right? They have to be way faster than humans can move. Otherwise, it would be like, this feels like I'm underwater compared to other fighting yeah, games, right? It's like right? Grand Theft Auto it's... fighting or something, where it's like, oh my <laughs> yeah, god. Now, that would be pretty as shit, because you could throw it. It'd be, I think that'd be cool. <laughs> It would be cool, but it wouldn't be a good fighting game. It would be it would be I like a terrible fighting, fighting game. game. It would be, it'd like, be a... like you choking somebody and you're like fighting to get the pistol out your pants and like they're trying to grab you like it's a series of yeah, like, that's, it's that's just like buttons uh, to press. But that's like what, what's that game? What's that game where it's like physics based and it's like it's all animation? It's um it's like a bunch of it's like Fall Guys looking people and they're fighting. But I oh, God. oh I know what you're talking about. Gang yeah, beasts, yeah. I think is what it's called. Gang yeah. beasts. It's like that about. stuff where it's like it's fun, but it, you're not you're not taking that to fucking Evo. 
<laughs> You're not playing fucking gang <laughs> beats anymore. You know, so like, did you imagine gang beats? Hey, that shit would be lit. That shit would go up. I think that would be insane. That would make people so upset. People would, someone would die. <laughs> someone would pull out a pistol and die. At a fucking gang beast evo because someone would lose and they'd be like, that was bullshit. I fucking pressed the button and it didn't do what I was supposed to do. I'm going to kill you today in front of your Hell mom yeah, and the world. It'd be a whole fight where he has the gun up and they're like trying to fight him while the gun's <laughs> high up in the sky. And it's like, yo, and the this body's is the just, best evo. <laughs> this is just the best evo ever. No. <laughs> they have to I, stop evo. Sony sells it again. Because they're like, yo, that got way yeah. out of hand. It got so bad. Beyonce, yeah, but Beyonce is one of the big, is one of the big, I wouldn't say it's like the top five. It's easily one of the top ten things wrong with that movie for sure. Because like, <laughs> she just, she just oversings every, it's like when, it's like those American Idol auditions. Yeah. Where like someone <laughs> yeah, doesn't yeah. know when to just shut the, when to just tone it down. You don't need to go all over the fucking place. You just sing the song. Right. There's nothing right. wrong with like. Like, part of your world doesn't need, you know, fucking <laughs> Celine Dion fucking screeching, you know, like, or, oh, no. or anything I, like that. I but, think, I yeah. think it, was, uh, it was just, it was just so, those movies Unnecessary, are never right? gonna, those movies are never gonna ex need to exist. They never need to exist. Unnecessary. Can I say you, something that I think no is going to be- you have not seen the originals. Yeah. And get the feeling from the originals. There's no way you're not gonna not but, see those movies, But here's, you know? wh here's why they make these, though, Kingston. Because For you money. took your girlfriend to see it. No, yes. my girlfriend yes. made me go see no, it. No, no, no. No such thing. You always have a choice. What is that? It's a Spider-Man lesson. We all have, no. we all yeah. have a choice. We all no. have a choice. You, have a choice. you made the my choice to go. My girlfriend made me go see it. I have a There's movie no pass. There's no such thing. There's so literally no such thing. I have a movie pass, so I didn't pay any money to see it. But unfortunately, I went, I saw it. And I was can just I, like, this is boring. Can I, can I ask and, you something? When What's are you that? going to admit that you're a Disney adult? Like, when is that going to happen? I So this is the thing, right? I am a Disney adult by facsimile. It's not exactly my choice. I do like Disney. I'll never deny I don't. All right? Like, I'm not... Like, you calling me a Disney adult doesn't bother me because I love Star Wars. Um, I like... Uh, Fox and the Hound is, like, one of my favorite movies. Like, if they have a Fox and the Hound event at Disney, I'm going to go and I'll be happy. Um, I don't mind it, you know, like I love some of the Disney things I really love. Like I love Tarzan. I love Beauty and the Beast. I love uh, I Coco. Know. Coco makes me cry every time I watch it to this day. I think that's one of the best movies ever. Pussy. Shut up, bitch. <laughs> but, <laughs> but I wouldn't go see it as often as I do. My girlfriend is a Disney adult and she loves that shit because she's from California. So it, the Californian women are, it's in their brains to be Disney adults. <laughs> it's in their brain. It's in their Dude, minds. I had a fucking, I, my homie, and he got with this girl. They got the pass and they went every fucking weekend. And, I, and I'm going to tell you, honestly, we like fell off as friends because I thought that I was just like, I can't, I can't, I can't be friends. with Yeah, no, it's, 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 it's like I went it's, four it's... times last year and it was too much. It was, I went four <laughs> or five times and it was just too much. It was just to the point I was like, I'm not, I, I don't have fun here. Can't front guardians of the galaxy. That ride is amazing. That ride is lit as shit, <laughs> but I don't want to be there that often. I just don't want to be there that much. It's fuck. There is, it's, I, D Disneyland is something that you should experience like once, maybe. Really, like, like I'd say Disneyland was fun literally when I was a minor, and and I mean like say I was going out with my homies and there would be girls our age and we would be just trying to get numbers. You know, we'd bring our back in the day before cell phones and shit, and it was fun. We get to hang out and everybody was having a good fucking time. As you get older, what the fuck is the point? It's, it's just expensive really ass food. Exp it's, expensive. it's usually hot as shit if you it's just, not in the winter. You go with your kids. That's it. You go with your kids. Or go your with kids. Someone, or you go with someone right. that really enjoys it. That's, no, sorry. You go with someone that really enjoys it. Yeah, but it's like, if why? If that happens to be your How do you your enjoy cup, it your partner, so much? That's some, the thing. Some people just love it. I don't understand how people love it that way. It feels like... Like Some I like Star of... Wars land, but I don't want to go every... I don't want to go all the time. Well, you know, I, mean, I love like, Star Wars. Who the fuck wants to do... Like uh, 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 Jojo just brought up uh, today. She was like, oh, it's been a while since we've been to around one. And I'm like, oh, you're right. 
like, well, I thought I didn't, I didn't actually say anything to her because I didn't want to talk to her, but um, I was like, oh, you're right. But I was like, oh, I was thinking in my mind, I was like, oh, you're right. You sat you know, stoically saying nothing. <laughs> it's like, yes, that is You don't fact. want to respond to her. She's a woman, but you're just like, she said something, you're just like, mm. 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 <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But I'm like, yeah, you go every once in a while, right, and play some uh, fucking House of the Dead and shoot some dumb shit or whatever. It, that's fun, but I can't uh, – going. I just, I, I just can't imagine going out every weekend if it's not – I don't know, man. Like, it's any, – anything that I did, the funnest things I used to do was going to karaoke bars. But that would still be, like, maybe once a month, maybe twice yeah, a month. Yeah, yeah. Max a Max. Month. Max twice yeah. a month. Like, yeah. max. I I – can go to the movies pretty often. Like if there's movies to see, I can go to movies pretty often. Mm. Um, I wouldn't. I I'll, I'll go to I'll go to round one because I have so such a large friend group that I I wouldn't mind going to different people, but yeah. I wouldn't go like more than twice, maybe a month. Yeah. Um, I yeah. don't do singing shit. Like I I I have stage fright, so I don't do like karaoke and stuff like that. What we so we, I, we we literally you did karaoke. Did he? I did karaoke. What song was it? I, I did karaoke in front of literally my closest friends. What That's song was when it? I did karaoke. I mm. want something else. <laughs> Get me through this. <laughs> I've never, I'll never do karaoke. It's like a random karaoke. But I'll go with my friends. Like there's one coming up soon next month that I know Chris is going to, and I'm going to be there as well. But only because what are you talking about? I got what do you mean? forced to do it. The um, emo nights. I'm not doing that. You're not going. What are you talking about? Then I'm more like, because this one's I'm next not gonna, month. And I was like, oh. Uh, next month is in June? You're not going to be here. I'm not going to be here next month. Yeah, I forgot. That sucks. But I you, guess you, I'll go. Because my, my, so I was like, I already said I'm Puerto Rico? Now, so it's too late. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to Puerto Rico. Wait, wait. Yeah, nice, I'm going, man. No, I'm going, I'm going to New York for, uh, on the, I think, well, I'm not going to say when, because people don't need to know. But like, I'll be, I'll, I'll be in, uh, <laughs> I have a. Uh, business. I have, so I'm going to be there for a while, like a few weeks. Because I have the mm. unfortunate situation of having uh, a graduation for, like, a niece who I care a lot about really, really, you know, closer. And then on the end, I have a cousin's wedding. And it's, like, a you know, one of my closer cousins. It's, like, the kid, the, the cousin who I who got me into Halo and, and a lot of video games and stuff. So it's, like, I should, I should be at your wedding. It'd be fun. Mm. But uh, they're awkwardly paced. So as, like, I would have to fly back twice. In like a very short amount of time, so yeah. I'm just not gonna do that. I'm just gonna fly once, and I'm just gonna you know work from yeah, just do my, it. Yeah, just spend some time with my parents, whatever. But flying makes me suicidal. But yes, I respect it. I can I can imagine, dude. Like I fucking <laughs> I dude. I hate. I like traveling. I hate. I I like. I like being in new places. But I yes. fucking hate traveling. Like I I hate yeah, getting drive. like getting on a plane. Like, like dealing with the people at the airport, then like inevitably there's like some inconvenience that happens at the airport that affects everybody. And then suddenly everybody becomes a fucking the worst version of themselves. They're fucking complaining, like taking their anger out on fucking people who have nothing to do with what's what's actually going wrong. And it's just like it's yeah. just it's the the worst people are the people at the airport. Like, sincerely, <laughs> like I fucking and when you're there, that counts. You are the worst. There is no person who is the best version of themselves at an airport. I guarantee it. You're you're your worst yeah, self absolutely. at an airport. You're you're you're. That's one of your worst versions. Yeah. <laughs> if if I'm you like, if like you, you took like, if you took the happiest version of me that I've ever been and put me up against me at an airport, I he's winning every single time. He's every destroying you, he's, bro. Yeah. yeah. That's a good point. He does <laughs> poison damage. <laughs> yeah. He does like that he, version he, of you, you block and your hands start burning. You're like, well, how does it burn? He's like, radiating. Like the worst, <laughs> maybe not the worst experiences of my life, but like some of the, like some of the most, the biggest panic, the, the deepest panic I've ever experienced, I've experienced at an airport because I remember I was, I was trying to, I was flying home and I was like running late because I timed it all wrong. The trains were a little bit late, so I like I had like 15 minutes to get to my gate from the outside of the airport. Which like if you know anything about airports, especially in big cities, that's a fucking that's a slim fucking window. And I get, I'm like, re I take the cab, I get out of the cab, I pay, I run out, I realize like the music cuts out from my headphones. I'm like, what the fuck? And I turn around, and my phone. It's not in my pocket. It's in a New York City taxi cab that just sped the fuck off. And I immediately, like, I was like, I can't believe I just left my phone oh, in a sick. New York City taxi <laughs> cab. 
I, I yeah. saw the universe. That's how fucking angry and panicked I got in, in that moment. And then I sprinted with all my bags. I grabbed it. Like, I somehow I pushed through security. I was like, get the f- I can't. I was like, I have a flight. I have a flight. Don't touch me. Don't touch me. I skipped line to security, and everybody was like, he's clearly going through something. We're not going to start shit. <laughs> but that is – I got to say – I no me toques, no me toques, no me toques. <laughs> I got to say, I, I, I really was. like I was like, I exuded such fucking evil energy at that era. I'm astounded that, I, that they didn't pull me aside, quite frankly, but – like they're they're fucking horrible i do wish it was like a little bit more socially acceptable to be at airport security and be like hey listen are you like how early are you you know because like i gotta if i get to security and there's like a long ass line and my flight's in like 10 minutes and everybody else in front of me has like they're gonna be chilling in the airport for like an hour and a half i wish i could just be like hey listen you know that was the only moment that I had that courage to do that because I was just so frazzled and fucking angry and, and terrified. But awful. I hate the airport. Fuck the airport. I hate flying. It literally, it literally brings up the worst version of myself. <laughs> I can't imagine how you even fly in the first place, to be honest, Kingston, because like I'm, I'm small. Mean? Because, listen, I'm small. I'm a small guy height-wise, right? I feel fucking cramped as hell in an in, in airplane seat. You know, it's like I, small, I fucking, it's I can't good, fucking. It's not a fun experience. I can't, I can't imagine anybody small, who's like man. tall or just like even slightly bigger. It's crazy. Yeah, it's a terrible experience. Yeah, it's yeah. I it's disgusting. It's a terrible experience. It's, it's it's why I want to I, I want to kill I, anyone who brings infants on the planes too. You, you, do you remember uh, that? Straight do, up. Do you remember that video of the? Oh, the there's, <laughs> there's a video that came out recently of like uh, it, it's like this. Look, it, it's I'm not gonna mince words. It's a really really. Poorly proportioned, very, very unhealthy fat woman on an airplane. <laughs> and she's moving through the aisles. And, you know, the whole video is kind of the, the general idea of the, the of the thing. It's like, man, they, they won't accommodate me. Like, how, how come airplanes are so, you know, cramped and, and it's, they can't accommodate people my size? And everybody's like, fucking uh, the world can't fucking bend to you. And I'm like, listen, spiritually... I get where you're coming from. However, shh, let this happen <laughs> because selfishly, that would be a great outcome for literally everybody. All right, just shh, shh, shh. don't compl- let him yeah. let him complain about the. In fact, support people who are complaining about this so we can get wider seats. If they or just, just everybody seats, could couple, like actually, they just like, need to lose a couple of extra seats. So widen these motherfuckers out. Obviously, more than a couple, but yeah, they need yeah. to just, they need to widen these motherfuckers out, dudes, because they're just sardining everybody just to maximize profits. And it's it's so fucking insanely uncomfortable. It's insane, insanity. And then the the jump from fucking just uh, uh, being uh, in first or business or whatever to just coach the the price is just fucking staggering. And you're not even the the accommodations aren't that like I get it to people who have a lot of money it's worth it like I get that that's yeah. literally but, like, how say, I have to fly sometimes I have a comfortable flight like when I have to go to London I have to I'm gonna get first class I have to get first class and go to London because if I don't I will stand up eventually start screaming and the marshal will have to shoot me <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah I will get up that's a I'm that's gonna, a long I'm flight gonna kill and somebody's gonna have to put me down Los Los Angeles to London you that's got to be that's you know yeah. if you can if that's you can far. somehow spring for a first class flight you that's the flight that you spring for it that's a I might long just leave from New York. I might have to leave from New York because I don't know if, I don't know if I can do that one flight like I yeah that's, that would be smarter I don't know if I could do I am so I get like we were flying to Florida there was I had a whole hour row because there was not many people going to Florida at the time because it was in the middle mm-hmm. of the week when we left and like I went to bed and I woke up and I realized I was in a pain I was in a plane and I just started panicking. And I saw Leo from the other side is looking at me just like, I feel so bad for him. But I'm just like, I just, my brain is just like, I can't be here. And you I'm get like so looking for angry. the angry. You get I so angry. <laughs> like, I, I don't know about you. I get like, when I nap and I successfully sleep on a plane and I wake up and I'm still on the plane and like, the, it's got, I've got like an hour left or something. I, it's panic for me. It's not the even like angry. It's not... The angriest I've ever been, probably. Yeah. Yeah, I fucking I'm, hate it. I, I I it's not I don't know, man. It's not that bad to me. I, mean, I don't know if this has ever I happened to you guys attacks. though. Like you ever you ever uh you ever woke up with like an immense amount of pressure? 
Like from like say I, I've slept and then the the you know since the, the altitude's changing so mm-hmm. much, the pre- there'd be so oh, much yeah, pressure in my head. I would have up. an extreme headache. Like uh, that happened, I think, on the way to Tampa. Uh, and and it's, <laughs> it's one of those things where I have to like try to yawn and then, or you can be a uh, one of the, an idiot and like blow the the pressure out of your fucking ears and damn near just rupture your fucking eardrums and blow like, blow your fucking head up because like, that one's like the like just just plug your nose and start blowing and then like hopefully yeah. it'll just kind of release but some if you do too hard. That shit, you, you 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 damn near rupture your eardrums. It's fucking, yeah, dude, I, sn- I, for I, me, it happen, I sneezed once. I'm, I'm I sneezed once, pressure. and I held it in. That was like, and I felt when you sneeze, and it comes out your ears, dude. It, it feels like you got <laughs> flash banged, like actually, like it's it's, it's <laughs> it, it is wild. I never experienced that in my life before. Like I think like a couple, like I think like two months ago, where I was like I was really like in the throes of like allergies, and I was like, oh my god. This is so bad. And then I sneezed and I flashbanged myself. I had to go lay down for like 10 minutes because like, I couldn't believe <laughs> yeah, it. Yeah. But did you see that video of the <laughs> of the plane landing and the door? Like somebody opened the door. Dude, I was just about to say Wait, that. That what? fucking, uh, what country was it? It was like Korea or something? Yeah, let me look I it up. I don't remember. Let me look it up. <laughs> I don't this motherfucker know. starts having a panic attack. And they were low enough to where the pressure wasn't too fucked up. So he was able to actually get the door open. <laughs> you South Korea. The, South Korea, yeah, yeah. So, like, the motherfucker successfully got the door open, and dozens of people uh, went to the hospital for panic attacks. You can't be, you can't, you can't be, that can't be real. I'm not kidding, yeah, it's it real. real. It's, it's he very, opened it's... the door and people got yanked out? No, 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 people Nobody didn't get yanked, yanked out, out because they were low enough. It wasn't like, it wasn't, they weren't high. Okay. Yeah, because if, if it was too high, they, you couldn't get it you open. Because you can't, that's a that man has super strength. I'm like, dude, stop! You're gonna kill us! And he's just like, no, no! He just like, opens it. It's so crazy seeing that. It, what's so crazy is seeing a motherfucker with their cell phone recording it happening. <laughs> Motherfucking doors uh, open and people are panicking and like, there's a phone capturing it. I'm like, that's that that's that bothers phenomenal. Me. That's people's first response now. My first response is like to try to stop a problem or like get away and people's response is just That is nuts. I don't I and always it's sad. I, it's... I regret not having that mindset with a lot of things where I'm like, damn, I wish I would have had that uh uh I would I would love to have seen that. It was like when uh, I went to drop off a JoJo one time and there was this uh this homeless gentleman <laughs> um, with his ass completely out, just like, just, just, just pants fucking half mass. And I'm like, oh my God, I'm laughing my ass off, right? Just j- join this guy on the street corner. And I'm like, fuck, why didn't I record? You know, it was one of those things where it's like, you, you, you my, my first thought isn't to, to, to just grab my phone real quick and then snap this shit. There's, um, so there's this video that I got sent, right? Of uh, this guy, this like guy somewhere in the Middle East with his, his pants down, like, touching himself and a dude nice. walks up to him and he slaps him so motherfucking hard i've never seen a human being get slapped that hard he slapped him so hard it sounded like when tom gets hit and tom and jerry it was like <laughs> lightning struck that's such a great fucking sound effect man <laughs> and i'm gonna send it to you guys in the chat we can continue we can continue to whatever you guys are doing but when you guys hear this strike applied to a person's body it is going to completely fuck your day up what chat are you putting it in i'm gonna send it to the chat in here on the put it put it put it put it in now we're gonna start getting into questions after this yeah let's do that because we gotta let's do that we gotta get into these questions Um, he struck him he didn't hit him he struck him where is it i don't see it sometimes you gotta strike i'm looking for it right now i'm trying to find out the exact video don't tell me they got rid of it that'd break my heart uh, you Come son of a bitch, on, man! That would break my fucking heart. You can't, you can't hype us up like that, man. That's crazy. He made it up. He probably Don't. hallucinated it. He probably hallucinated it along with his uh, his girlfriend and his fucking sure SM7B. No, they can't <laughs> get rid of it. His, his dick was out, so I'm gonna sound like it'd be a problem with it. But it's it's such his. A Your Honor, him. his dick was out. His dick was out. Oh, so I can see them getting rid of it, like getting rid of the video. Cause all right, well, out. I guess that's it. I guess, all right. I guess we'll just no. unceremoniously move on to questions. 
God yeah. damn it. No. Way to go. Uh, Genesis wrote in. Says, hey there, you living, breathing joke templates. The very first episode of the Snark Tank I listened to was the Chris Chan episode. I don't even remember how long ago that was. And ever since then, I've been hooked. So that makes me wonder, have you guys ever become fans of something under strange or less than desirable circumstances? Thanks. If you re- thanks if you read this. And uh, sorry if I brought back any bad memories. No, Chris <laughs> Chan is always, a, always at the forefront of, uh, of my memory. I just watched uh, Turkey Tom. It took me like a week to watch it. but Because I gotta be, I gotta be honest, I... I really, whenever we talked about Chris Chan, I only know little small bits and pieces. I didn't know the full extent of like what Chris Chan has done. Yeah, it's a lot involved in. So I finally, I was like, you know what? This actually makes sense. Uh, It was, I think it was like two hours. I can't remember three. I can't remember how long it was. But uh, Turkey Tom put out a video recently, and then I just watched every few days or something. I just kept going and going. I finished it. And I was like, okay, I, I understand the phenomenon now, like why it's the extent of how much. I, I guess I didn't really know how much people r- truly fucked with the, with Chris Chan. That's the one thing that I didn't oh, really yeah. understand. Like, wow, I, I, like the, the dedicated trolls. It's it's. I feel like they're almost crazier than Chris Chan. Actually, oh yeah, the, be able to have that dedication. What's fascinating? I've always said this about Chris Chan. The fascinating thing about Chris Chan isn't necessarily that he is. Uh, I mean, he's a fascinating creature for sure. But like, yeah, the the people who engage with him are also arguably equally as fascinating because who <laughs> has the time or the energy? Like, e- even I, I as somebody found it. Oh, you found it? <laughs> I found it. <laughs> all right. All right. I'm proud of I'm really proud of all myself. Right. Put it put it. I was I just just <laughs> yeah, good job, Ed. All how right, much hold you that bet, thought on uh, the question. Yeah, how much you want to bet this is this is gonna have some kind of Oh, it's okay, it plays. How'd you find this? Some waffle? Put the you gotta put the sound on. You gotta put the sound on, you gotta hear it. Oh, you gotta hear the the, <laughs> the fucking sound effect. <laughs> you gotta put the sound you gotta put the sound on. <laughs> oh my god. Those acoustics. Those are some sick acoustics. Dude, he slapped fuck out of him, dude. dude His dope, eyes are dude. like just... so open. What he is hit he... him what... so hard he realized what he was doing. And he was like, I gotta get out of here. He's like, I can't be doing this in public. This is not okay. Wait, wait, what did he did he kick him at the end? Yeah, he kicked him. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, everything about this is... He says, put your dick in your pants, and then he Spartan kicks him. <laughs> That's amazing. He That's hit amazing. Him. He hit him, and he tried to swim. Dude, he That's amazing. He hit we him, can, we his can, first idea we, was we gotta, swim away. We, we got to put this in the episode somehow. We just got to censor it. Censor yeah, the bottom just, half. Yeah, uh, just put a mosaic little fucking shit on it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, you don't have to put a mosaic. Yeah, you, probably just, be, like, hey, this... you probably just crop the bottom half off, you know? All right. For sure, that is so funny. This should be, this should be the, cold, this should be the cold open. <laughs> yeah, that, yeah. That'll be, yeah that, all right. That'll be the cold open. That'll be the way that. <laughs> that'll be the intro to the podcast. Show, every person I show that video to, they laugh. I haven't got a single person that was like, Please. "Oh, that's gross." Everybody's been like, "What the fuck, dude?" <laughs> this this video is brilliant. His fucking accent. It, that's what really makes it too. Pull your dick in your pants, and then bam. That's, he that's, that's walloped good. him, bro. Do he fucking yes yeah, slap some super hard? And it's just the acoustics are great since it's kind of like a tunnel, like it just <laughs> yeah. so it really echoes like crazy when he slaps. It doesn't him. even it doesn't <laughs> even... <laughs> when he kicks him. It's so funny. He's so old and he just fucking. <laughs> it's pretty oh, fucked he's up. A ruffian, bro. He's a ruffian, bro. <laughs> I can tell it doesn't by his sound um, like a like it doesn't sound like he was hitting the head. It sounds like like PVC pipes. <laughs> like it, like it, he it, was like struck. <laughs> it's like he was struck. Like he wasn't hit. Like somebody struck him with something. You know what? Dude. You know when you you know that little thing at the bottom of the door that kind of like <laughs> that wiggles. <laughs> that's yeah, the bottom. Yeah, that's kind of that's that's the effect that I kind of get from the the fucking street. It's so ridiculous. Oh my god! There's the just kick, like, the kick is wild, man. You you didn't sell this video correctly because this kick is the, is the star of the, the show, kick, man. It's so good! <laughs> it's so good! Like he kicks her, and then it ends immediately. Ends. It's so good. <laughs> it's so good. I was looking for this, bro. 
I was this like, I gotta how do you find find, this video. How'd you, how'd you even find it? If... <laughs> I have to find this video. I just started. I just started going back. I just started going back and back to like all through all of my likes, and I was just like, you gotta find this. I gotta find this. I gotta find this. <laughs> this is crazy though. This, this is like, like he. This is like an old Sikh dude. Like, <laughs> I, I I didn't like. Oh, I, I didn't just download. Sh- I should download. It's gonna be off the internet soon. I gotta download it. Yeah, yeah. download it. Yeah, like absolutely. these dudes are usually like very respectable and shit. Like, that's why I'm like, why is this guy? Like, it's analyzing. It's so okay. So he's just there, and he, he doesn't even have that pervert face when you see. Because I think we've all seen. You guys live in New York, of course. You've seen naked dudes touching them, crazy people touching themselves, but they have a crazed look on their face usually. Usually, there's something you know, yeah. you're like oh, that guy's off. This guy. He's acting like he's not touching his dick. That's the thing that's crazy. I don't think he knows he's there. That's what I think it is. <laughs> I think he yeah. has dementia sincerely. Like it looks because he doesn't because he, he doesn't look yet. he doesn't look at all like he's aware. You know? Yeah. yeah. He, he, some guy comes up to him recording and he's like, I wonder what this guy this guy wants. <laughs> like, what's going on? Like, he gets that? slapped and Spartan kicked down the stairs. <laughs> he's in a he's in a series of what's going on. That's all he's experiencing. <laughs> Yeah, which is so fucked up. If that's the if that's the case, just getting slapped and kicked. I mean, you know, it's, oh, man. you, you got to assume you can't just assume everybody doing heinous shit is just you know just not. You know, oh well, you know they don't know. <laughs> no, I, no, 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 I understand that, but I don't think he knows. Like I, I know, understand. yeah, you're right, you're right, you're right. I think Dude, he thinks he's doing he's perfect. somewhere else, and I think that hit got him back. Like that slap got him back to where he should be. Oh, he's like, oh shit, my bad. He's All like, right, oh shit, my dick's out. I gotta get home. All right, we saw it. <laughs> and then he kicked him All in right. the back. We gotta get to the he's question. Drip too, man. He's kind of dripped out. I'm not gonna lie. The Sikh man. <laughs> I like I like that Nickelodeon uh, fucking orange that he's got on. It's a nice little polo. All right, yeah, yeah. Let's go back to the question. I'm so fascinated by this video. Um, right, does this mean, dude? With constantly these fucking is, videos, it is the shit I see online, bro. It is Nickelodeon orange. It's a fucking. It's it's Rugrats the movie VHS. <laughs> oh man. Okay. Uh man. What, what was it? Oh the the, um, uh, the Christian. Yeah, yeah. What, what have you I became say? like a? Uh, well, you were talking about Christian. Oh yeah, I was saying like the people who the people who are like. His, involved in his life are equally as depraved and crazy. Like, 1, like thousand percent. There's a there's a character. I don't know if you're aware of it. Called Liquid Chris. Are you aware of Liquid yes, Chris? Yes, 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 yes. That. So I'll just say this. That is hilarious. Like the idea <laughs> of that, of like somebody pretending to be him and like having an audience of people pretending to believe him to the point where yeah. like Christian has to go out and be like, no, that's not. The real me. I'm the real me. And, and, <laughs> what were they saying? His, his name Liquid was something Chris like Chris. Is like, so good. Uh, his uh, Chris's name was like Ethan or something. They gave him a, like a name. Yeah, a completely yeah. I, different I name. They're trying it. to gaslight. It was. It's, yeah, I, look, I forgot. It's, but it is that was funny. Fantastic. It is funny. That was fantastic. But it's also yeah. like, what is wrong with you that you're willing to do this? You know, like to another <laughs> to another person. Bruh, it's crazy. Like, they're like all a, psychos. They're no. The story of Christian is the story of just. Villains and villains. Yeah, Chris Chan. There was like a th- there was like a thirteen year old boy that was like internet. sexting with him or something, wasn't he? Huh? There was like a there was like a, a thirteen year old boy that was pretending to be yeah a girl, to be a, sexting to be his, him to be his girlfriend yeah like for a long time and that was like the I didn't know that before and I'm like that is look at when I was thirteen Fucking years evil, old dude like I I I was, was not doing that shit when I was enough. thirteen man. no That's not evil. even. That's why like, I wasn't even like I was I was laughing at fucked up things probably then still, yeah. but I but wasn't can't, outwardly like doing things that are just fucked. Yeah, like that's that. that's that's crazy. Up. I'm like, you can't chalk that up to just be like, oh well, he's just a minor. I'm like, no, no, that's no that kid, crazy. That kid, that kid <laughs> I guarantee person. you, I that kid I guarantee you today is either dead or really evil. Like, there's no, <laughs> dead like, there's, or, there's, or there's, really no there's no there's no world where a where a child there's no world where a kid that does that grows up to be a good person like i'm sorry like i understand that people yeah, change absolutely. and all that but like that's different man not that because yeah, not that. not like that <laughs> there are people who change but like you gotta <laughs> man you gotta be because that's, that's before because the thing is it's like when you're that that's before you should even have that level of hate in your heart you know what i mean 100. like it is it is more acceptable to me to do something like that when you're like 19 which is still way too old to do that. Yeah. 
Yeah. Yeah, you're <laughs> still 13. 13? What are you doing that's when you're 13? Like, what is in your brain you're when you're 13? You're barely starting to learn shit. Like, <laughs> yeah. like re- you're barely Imagine starting to understand the, the real world. To. That's like kidnapping and, like, yeah, sob dude. shit. <laughs> yeah, that kid is that kid. like somebody easily... waking up in a room, dude. Yeah. You don't value apparently, life. Apparently, apparently, Liquid Chris. Open. <laughs> apparently, Liquid Chris is a doctor. Now, really, isn't that insane? Has has you think uh, Liquid Chris Chris has like reflected on the shit that he used to do? <laughs> no, probably, you, you can't. You got to let that shit be in the past. Yeah, because that's too much darkness. That's too much darkness yeah, to reflect you can't on. Compartmentalize that shit. Because, dude, on. man, he had on. he had a golden impression of him, man. It was a good impression. Like, it was... Didn't they have, like, they had, like, a sing-off or something? And yeah, fucking, singing content. They like, had a bout to see which Chris was real. <laughs> they had a <laughs> so bout. That's funny. some fucking... That's so some Game of Thrones shit. <laughs> that is some d shit. I love that his name is Liquid. copies you, and you're like, I gotta beat my enemy. It, if... It, I'll put it this way. In... T- in eight years, an amazing show that started eight years ago could have been written, right? It's it's the series finale eight years from now. Amazing story, amazing drama, amazing character work. And there's a, a, an interview with the, the writers. And somebody asks, what, what inspired this story? I could easily, easily see people be, see them being like, you know, actually, funnily enough. Every yeah. major plot point was taken <laughs> in some way, shape, or form from the story of Christian Weston Chandler. Yeah. That would like, be... Because it is crazy. Would... You could easily, like, loosely base an amazing show on this. Like, easily. Even yeah. if you didn't go with the exact angle. Even if you were like, no one's autistic. No, no Sonic. Nothing like that. <laughs> but just yeah. the idea of, like, this person's pretending to be you and convincing people. Or, or like, anything. Anything from it. It's crazy. That's what did they call wild. his um? There's truth what did they, to that. What did they call his upset. stepdad? Um, or was it his actual dad? I don't remember. Uh, they, they, they called him a name because uh, they said that because he said that he was I'm gonna, gonna cut, he was it. gonna he was gonna cut down the internet and they called him like like a like a <laughs> like a lumberjack or something. What they called him something? I they can't gave him remember. a name. I'm, I know because he was he was like threatening to cut down the internet, not turn it off. He's like, I'm gonna cut <laughs> down the internet. <laughs> I'm working on it. <laughs> so funny. That yeah, is what I, killed I, me, bro. There's 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 a great video of his dad. It's it's my favorite video. It's like a really old 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 video of, of him making a video, and his dad comes in. He's like, take that shit off the internet, and he goes like, I can't. It's uploaded, and he's like, well, fucking unload it then. And he goes, <laughs> and then Chris goes, I'm working on it. I'm working on it. And it's like, no, he's not. <laughs> he's up- yeah, he's in the process of uploading something like, as he says this. It's crazy. It's like it. it is so fascinating, man. And I get it. It's like there's there there's an element of like there's an what's so fascinating about it to me is like there's a, there's an element of everybody kind of understands that this is like wrong on some level, and because everybody knows it's wrong on some level, but because he is also so like dark as a figure. Everybody kind of accepts, like, it's almost like this is the last person we're allowed to treat like this. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, it's like, there's yeah, like, yeah. there will never be another person that, that this is acceptable for again. Like, ever. At I least, agree. For, at least in the way that it is for Christian. Like, no one, everybody who has moral obje- uh, uh, objectifications or uh, ob- objections, I don't know, objectification is the wrong word. Uh, Anybody who has moral uh objections to the way that the whole christian oh. thing is unfolded they can have those objections but they also know a lot you know like they yeah, know a lot me. they that's know me. that's literally liquid me. chris that like, is they why i'm know trying liquid to not chris. sleep much because i think that shit is that is the that is the perfect example of not allowing like when you allow someone to go into that without supervision oh yeah and it turns into that, like, and I. It's a hate cautionary that. tale. It's a good. It's it's good that it exists in some way because it's like, you don't want any part of this. So I don't like, know about it's good to exist, but if that was <laughs> if this was a tale, if it was a tale that I heard, <laughs> I wouldn't believe it exactly. You know, like if it was a fucking. <laughs> if someone came to me and was like, "Have you heard the tale of Christina Weston Chandler?" I'd be like, no, and then they'd tell me, and I'd be like, that's horrible. If you pitched this to a writer, they would be like, that's too unrealistic. No one would believe it. 
Yeah. Literally. Yeah. <laughs> yeah after, after Chris, really... Liquid's Chris <laughs> addition to that shit was when I was like, this is unbelievable. Yeah. I got to say, after watching this documentary, I, I'm a, like, I totally understand the, the fascination of Chris Chan, uh, why people are so fascinated. Uh, but I, I, now I kind of have to really wonder who is more fascinating to me, Chris Chan or Ethan Ralph? Because, like, there was things that I didn't know. Like, I, I didn't also, I didn't know Chris Chan was, uh, was a racist. I didn't know that either. Oh, yeah. yeah. I didn't. Like, yeah. I didn't, like, there's so many little, little things that I didn't know. Everything I just knew that such, could be, I was such a normie. Could, everything that could be wrong with a person is wrong with Chris Chan, I think. <laughs> like, sincerely. Every, 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 there's more plot, you know. It's like, yeah. when, you're reading, it's like when you're reading about, um, it's like reading, um, like, Tamriel lore and her finding about Alduin and realizing there's just more about Alduin than you thought. You're like, there's more? How do we somehow involve the Dark Brotherhood? How is that possible? Yeah, <laughs> you just keep reading it like this character's done it all. Yeah, he's just he's he's <laughs> he's walking lore. He he yeah. walks around and exists as lore. That's what he is. He's, he's a he's... George R. R. Martin character, but he's just retarded. <laughs> That's yeah. it. That is just all the only difference. That's, yeah. it's, it's That's actually that a good point. Crazy. Yeah. That's a good point. Yeah, that's some internet royalty shit right he's there. He's the internet most internet documented royalty. character Wait. on the internet by far. Yeah, so the, okay, thing, quickly, the thing with Ethan Ralph, right? The Ethan Ralph, yeah. right, is... Yeah. <laughs> we're going to get to one question this episode. <laughs> but the thing with Ethan Ralph is that, like, he is absolutely a character. You know, like, yeah. without a doubt. But he just... He, he hasn't had... Chris Chan was destined for this. Like destiny was calling to Chris Chan and says, "We choose you yeah. <laughs> to be this," because no normal person could endure anything that Chris Chan has endured and still walk around and sur- and live. You know what I mean? Like any, it, yeah. If 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 you yeah, were, you if you true. are a mentally healthy person, you would have killed yourself way way long ago if you were I, in Chris I, Chan's very shoes. Very true. Like the so, the amount be- the bounce back is fucking incredible. Yeah. I almost feel like in some way. God was like, and I don't believe in God. I'm just saying. In some way, <laughs> the universe was like, you are so stupid that you can handle this. And all of this hate has to go somewhere. Because if it doesn't go somewhere, it'll spill everywhere. Yeah. It'll so spill out. it almost feels like Chris Chan is holding the hate of the world on his shoulders. <laughs> and he's he's thankfully completely unburdened by it because he's not intelligent enough to even realize it's happening. Yeah, that's, fu- that's, that's Ethan that's Ralph is like right so do you Ethan think, Ralph so is, you a think recent, Ethan is a recent Ethan Ralph's a recent guy. Yeah. Uh, he, to he, a degree, he's, he's, Chris Chan is a bit of a messiah figure. Yeah, of course. He, I would. I, he's I the would internet say, messiah. <laughs> he's I would. Messiah. I, when, when Chris was given that little diatribe right there, I have to agree. Like that is. Yeah, that he is the internet. <laughs> without the without without Chris Chan, so we would all have liquid Chris's. <laughs> Pretend, <laughs> pretending yeah. to be us, we would all yeah. have liquid Chris's. Pretend there would be like a a, a so liquid funny. Sween, like like running around oh, doing an impression of you. What the fuck would liquid me be? That's what's scary. Um, I would love that. I would love that. Yeah, someone to like just be that fascinated with you and to troll you that hard, and then like just just yeah. could, everybody just gets in on it. That like no, nah, like, you, uh, I don't. Who are you? You know he's, he's. Who are you? You're not. You're not Sweeney. Get out yeah, of here. Yeah, he, he, Chris Chan is like. I don't know, man. He he's like the. Uh, like moths drawn to flame. Yes. <laughs> like like the the unhinged flame. people of the internet flock to him so that they have a target <laughs> and they leave the rest of us alone. It's so it's sad, that, that is, but it's that also is some fascinating. real shit. That's some real shit. It is. Yeah, like all, all that. That's some real shit. But I want to answer a question real quick so we can fucking move on. Yeah. Like- <laughs> the, only, the, only thing I, <laughs> the only thing I think about the the question was was there something they got into because of like unfortunate circumstances or something like Chris Chan or some yeah, shit yeah. like that. That's the first. Uh, the only thing I can think of, which is Ninety Day Fiance. I never would have given a flying fuck about that show or whatever. But uh, g- multiple comedians that I watched were like, "Have you seen these <clears throat> fucking idiots? This these people called Georgian and Fisa, and uh, and it, it, it was so fascinating that like I fucking I'm I'm now a fan because the the producers handpick the stupidest people on the planet and they do a very good job at it. These people are so 
impossibly stupid. Not on Chris Chan levels, but like oh, in yeah, a normie sense. On Chris Chan levels, like, but pretty just but in a normie dumb. sense, they're so fucking stupid. It's fascinating. I I, I can't stop watching, and uh, that's about it. Yeah, I would say <laughs> I would say I would say reality TV in general. <clears throat> Yeah, for yeah. me, there's this series called "To All the Boys I Used to Love," where it's a show. It's a, it's like a, it's like a teenage girl a thing gay. that like my L- Lily watched, and it's a, it's like, it's like hints of K drama in it. And I remember like thinking, "Oh, this is so stupid," but then I realized throughout my life, I've watched so many stupid things for girls, like constantly to the point that it got to the point that that became partially my taste because of how much of it I absorbed. <laughs> Yeah, and I'm just like, what the fuck am I watching? Like one day I was like, I was like 19 in my like apartment, like not my apartment, my house, just like watching Vampire Diaries, and I took a moment to be like, what the fuck am I watching? <laughs> I was yeah. watching this, and then you have to pretend like you're paying attention, or you have to you you have to talk about it as if you're like super interested in it, and then you, it's like one of those things where it's like you fake it for and so long that it happens, it becomes it. yeah yeah, you fake it for it, so it long that it becomes, you. you fake like it I, until you make it. <laughs> I, I I watched The Bachelor for a Girl or whatever, like or, or Bachelor. I can't remember which one. It's like one of those fucking shows. I don't even know if it's, mm-hmm. it was that show specifically, but it was a show like that. And I remember being like, "Oh my god, yeah." We'd finish the first episode and and we'd talk. It's like, yeah, I mean, uh, I guess that guy's probably going home. And then seven episodes in, it's like, how the fuck did this guy get this far? He doesn't <laughs> care about her. <laughs> And it's just like, what the fuck is going on? I hate this. <laughs> it's horrible. Yeah, dude. It happens so quick. I know it's like a joke, but it's like it's real at the same time. Right, it happens. Right. It happens. You get, you fake, you fake. That's the thing of people on the internet. They fake crazy till they become crazy. Uh, yeah, it's true. You Easily. fake it until it really actually happens. Like I think Sam Hyde faked being crazy to the point that he is actually crazy now. I think yeah. most people, if they fake to be, if they fake being crazy, yeah, it, it just becomes. I think Tim Pool absolutely. <laughs> Yeah, oh, yeah, dude, that's a Tim perfect Poole. example. Tim Pool, I, I firmly because, dude, I remember hanging out with Tim Pool. I remember, I remember him being completely normal, and right. I don't think there's a chance in hell he's normal anymore. Like, I, I just don't no think way. It, I don't think when you live on a compound by yourself, surrounded by people that you hire to be around you, it's twenty four seven for years. Like, it's gonna, it's gonna, it's gonna rewire you, bro. You know? Yeah. Big facts. Couldn't I? I, I yeah. I, I, <laughs> I, I was saying even for a little bit, and then we'll move on that. I thought there was a, a that oh he's still self aware he's just grifting hard but the more that uh, I even what I had an interaction with him where he started talking shit because I was trashing Tucker Carlson and I was so confused because I uh, somebody showed me there was a clip of him shitting on Tucker Carlson too and I was kind of like what is your I yeah. don't understand your he, he. I just I was like I don't even know what I don't know what's going on with this guy. Like he's there. There's footage of him that exists of him being like I, I, I'm like you know this stuff exists or do you just pretend I don't know how he does it? It's it's yeah. it's a skill that I wish I could acquire. The grift is crazy because you got, it's like eventually you got to believe he believes it, right? the grift. Yeah, that's what happened. Well, he like believe yeah. like he like I don't think he if he saw that old footage he's like that's not me. That's that's AI. That's AI generated. Like I imagine it must be something like that. <laughs> I don't that's know. It's weird. Bananas. It's weird. I I don't know. I I, I don't know. I, I do think. Uh, what, what's that famous fucking quote? If uh, if you stare too long into the abyss, the abyss looks back. I feel like that's like real, and that's like exactly no, what happens no. to these people. Where it's like, right. yeah, and then they they, they they they'll <laughs> pretend for a little bit, and then they'll be like, well, you know, it's easier to believe this psychologically. Yeah, but so I'll this just kind of makes sense now. Yeah, yeah. And it's like I don't know. <laughs> I don't care enough about anything yeah. to believe anything. <laughs> yeah, so I let's, just, I'm like, whatever, man. Let's move on. Uh, <clears throat> what is this? What Nick do we got here? Nick Kurz wrote in. Uh, wait, what is... All right, let me go there. Gay... <laughs> Gay Sunday. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> that made me so upset. <laughs> That's so stupid. I love the it. Whole name is I love so, it. The whole name is even worse. Because it's oh, well, it's it? it's gay Sunday voice, so it's like the the rest of it's supposed to be something. Okay, it voice. is chocolate queer. Already bad. Yeah, or it doesn't even rhyme with rain. Not even yeah, try. it's not even. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> it should have been anal pains. <laughs> <laughs> I blow guys, and it makes me go insane. I don't know. Anal I, 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 pains. Anal. 
And oh my stretch God. me good and <laughs> <laughs> stretch me good and blast on to my face. You know what Ain't we should no do? Pain. You know what we should do? We should do. Uh, I know we. I know we have a couple of gay things in the works, but we should do like cocklet, a little yeah. cocklet we rains. Should, no, <laughs> cocklet rain is a pretty good name. No, my cock tip rains. That's too clever. That's, that's too, too, yeah, that's too much. That's, that's, that's too yeah. clever. It's too clever. It has to be dumber than that. It has to be dumber. I you gotta, hate yeah. that that just happened. That's too clever. Sometimes you have to write. You have to write down. You know, like uh, you, you learn this when you make YouTube videos. It's like that's not a joke for anybody but me. I'm gonna take this out. <laughs> but but uh, no one else can get this joke. They're not smart. No, but enough. what I was gonna say. So I was gonna say. It. It's not. About, it's not about being smart. It's more about just like. You can't punch over your weight when you're writing songs about just gay, when you're writing gay parodies. You can't be you can't be too clever because then it right. becomes wor- it, the song gets worse. I think if you're too clever with it, because then it's like, well, what is this guy doing this for? You know, you gotta you can't gotta you do it, better. You're fucking yeah, well, you, making this songs is, about cum. It it becomes it becomes underachieving. At a anyway, certain point, yeah. yeah. You what are. I was gonna say is, we gotta, we, <laughs> we should do uh, <laughs> a Little Mermaid thing since it's it's kind of trending ish right now. Oh yeah, yeah. Suck on my D. Yeah, something would be good. We gotta do something. Fucking man's cheeks. Yeah, fucking, fucking man's, man's cheeks. cheeks. <laughs> I'll make him stutter when I spray him with butter right from my meat. <laughs> All right, let's not let's not waste it. Come in his eyes and make him anyway, gay. Anyway, anyway, <laughs> all right, right, and make him gay. All right. This is what I mean. I'm saying. I'm t- I- <laughs> so it's a good idea. Doing that. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Keep that. Keep that in your back pocket. Okay, okay. Let's. I got. Well, I got to put that in the notes real quick. We'll, we'll probably yeah, have to rewatch the episode because no, I, I already forgot what you said. <laughs> but uh, all right, gay Sunday. <laughs> wrote in. That would Says, be hey there, Auntie, hey there, Auntie Diaries 130. Recently, news came out that the Prince of Persia remake was basically deleted despite being three months from release. And ne- this is four days ago, <laughs> by the way. <laughs> and now I heard about that. is uh, now is in the conception phase under Canadian studio of Ubisoft. Complete and utter development hell. Skull and Bones got another delay. That's the Ubisoft pirate game. Uh, uh, right. Beyond- Beyond Good and Evil, Beyond Good and Evil Two is in development hell too. So the question is, how many years until these games even come out, if ever? They, they I, I, I don't know. Like, it's, it's anyone's guess at this point. But like, I, I wanted to bring this up because I think it's wild that Prince of Persia, Prince of Persia is Assassin's Creed. That's what's fucking nuts yes, about it. The it's like, game. N- literally, like, the, it's like mean, I yes. think, I think in the original development diary for for Assassin's Creed, they were like, yeah, we tried to make a Prince of Persia game, but then they were like, oh, this is this idea is is good enough for its own series or whatever. And so the, the idea mm. that they've put out nothing but like constant Assassin's Creeds, but they can't get Prince of Persia working, even though Assassin's Creed is Prince of Persia, is so fucking fascinating to me. Like it's it's fucking weird. But uh, first of all, was anybody asking for a new Prince of Persia? Not no, at because, all. I mean, but, no, nobody's asking for a new Assassin's Since, Creed. Since the time I was like, all right, this franchise could <laughs> die. I was in third grade playing at that at my friend's house. Bro, <clears> there's <throat> so many of them. I, I couldn't believe how many. I remember playing the first one. I was like, oh, this is kind of cool. I remember playing a little bit of the third one because my brother was playing it. I was like, oh, it's more brutal. It's M for Mature or some shit. And yeah. I, I, I literally stopped giving a shit after that. I, I, I forget. It's there, fine. There's been like, I think. I, I never got into it personally. Six more games after that or something. There's six more after three. <laughs> something. Remember that? Because there was one like, like fucking. What, what was up? <laughs> Do you remember that year where Assassin's Creed put out two games at the, in the same day and they both weren't good? Yeah. They what put that? they put what out two assassin. It was Assassin's Creed Rogue and Assassin's Creed Unity. Oh, I think didn't um no 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 yeah. I think uh Syndicate? I thought the Black Flag came out around Rogue. No, Rogue no, came, Black Flag came out after. I Black after. Flag came out. Black Flag came out before. Rogue was um I man. Was, those came out around the same. No, time. No, I swear to God, Assassins. <laughs> There's so fucking many of these games. Because I, I thought they were, like, connected and, like, say, the guy in Rogue was, like, uh, um, the, the, the guy's dad or some shit. Yeah, yeah. The, the guy in Rogue is, like is, 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 the guy in Rogue connects three to Black Flag, I think, oh, or, or something. Oh, um, so. 2014 was Rogue, and I think 2013 was, uh. Was it? I thought. I th- yeah, 2014 I, was Rogue. You're, you're, you're probably right. I just. 
I mean, I'm looking it up. But I'm I, looking at it right now. I think it might be the same year. No. Black so, Flash. Black Flash. 2013. Rogue and Unity came out. Chris is okay. right. Rogue and Unity both came out. Wait, Unity. Rogue yeah, and Unity that was came that was out. France. Oh, I'm wait you but wait. And then Rogue Syndicate came out around came out. Unity. Rogue came out the same then Syndicate day. Syndicate came out. Yeah, afterwards. Wait, wait, wait. Unity came out in 2014. Yeah. Unity came out in 2014. Oh my god, what the. I don't know what's going on with my timeline. It's fucked up. Or, okay, okay. I don't know why. I to see. be honest, I don't know why I know this either. <laughs> like, I, I haven't I played these Unity games. I thought came out in 2015. No, I no, swear. No. 2015 sure? was 2015 was Syndicate, I believe. I don't yeah, know Syndicate. why I know this. I don't know why I know this. Um, f- why is my... I thought... Okay, I remember being in my friend's apartment, which I thought... What the... F- I don't even know it's time anymore, bro. I don't... I don't okay. You're going okay, through it, Derek. We should do a supercut of you that dementia joke you made before. A supercut of you just be like, really? And progressively it getting worse and worse to the point you just don't remember anything. And oh, you're sitting there on the camera asking, who am I? Oh, fuck. Okay, I guess I... Okay, I think I know what's going on now. I think I'm back. I'm back. I'm, I, okay, I'm back. I'm he back left. Now. <laughs> you're like that guy, bro, that got slapped and it just, it just you're back. That's it. He... he <laughs> He reinstalled everything. It's just weird because I swear, like, I thought I bought uh, an Xbox One in 2015 because it came with uh, Unity. But I guess I bought it in 24 because I bought it when the game came out, essentially. Yeah, so and then the game was just a fucking an absolute mess, right? Um, what the fuck, man? Uh, yeah, I, this, I don't know. Weird. It's weird. Time, they yeah, were just... pumping them out for a bit. Holy shit, dude. The road, There's a man. lot, man. 2007, 2009, 2010, yeah, they, no, they 2011, They were literally 2012, doing the uh, they were doing the cash cow. Uh, they were doing the the they were doing exactly what Call of Duty was doing, but it was like obviously it was going to catch up with them yeah. because <laughs> the game's way bigger than fucking Call of Duty. And there wasn't two uh, big studios working because Call of Duty was sharing their fucking their yeah. titles, right? They would go back and forth between development studios. Yeah, Infinity and Activision and shit. Yeah, Infinity, Infin- Ward, Infinity Ward and, and, and uh, Treyarch. Yeah. Oh, Treyarch? Okay. At Treyarch. that period of time, it was Treyarch. Then they got Activision and got it. Activision later? Okay. Well, no, it's, it's always been Activision. Activision is the publisher. Oh, I don't know. Oh, they, uh, okay, gotcha. Yeah, yeah. It was always yeah, Infinity dude. Ward, Treyarch, and then I think Sledgehammer or something. I don't know. Fucking whatever. Who From cares? 2007 until 2000. No, still. No, until 2020. It hasn't been more than two years before the Assassin's Creed game came out. Yeah. Yeah, for they a took while, one they year off. yearly shit. And they took, yeah, they, yeah. They they took, took one year they off. Took, they took one year off. Then it was another the next year, the next year, the next year, the next year, the next year. Then they took one year off from Origins. Then the next year, then one year off. And then they, just, they, they took three years off. And they're making Mirage yeah. now. Now they're making. Gonna tank, no, no, no. I'm sure. They're not, they're not making Mirage. They're, they're not just making Mirage. They're making like five Assassin's Creed games right now. They're Why making Mirage it, the next one that's coming yeah, they're out. Doing that, Mirage is the yeah, next they're one. doing that whole network thing. Honestly, right? I think Mirage has a pretty good shot of actually being decent. but I don't think so. But we'll I see. think so, only because I, it's a more scaled-down Assassin's Creed, which is, I think, what people want. And I think also, I also think that's generally, and people aren't going to like this, I think that's where the industry is going. I don't think you're, you're not going to see fucking God of War Ragnaroks anymore, I don't think. Like, or the, we're, we're edging on the end of that style. Because it's what, too expensive, world game? it's too bloated. I think, I think, be, so here's, here's, put it this way. Subscription models are kind of like the new baseline for, for games now. Like, Game Pass is, like, super successful. Yeah. Even it, it, Game Pass is so successful that even though Xbox is, like, in the fucking dust right now in comparison to PlayStation, PlayStation was still like, ah, oh, we gotta boost PS Plus because Game Pass is a big deal. And so I think in order to really get value out of that, you kind of need... You need these shorter, more complete experiences, so that way people jump from game to game, game to game, game to game. It's p- most people don't finish their games. Like the overwhelming yeah, majority true. of people don't. Fi- like the stats on it is insane. No. <laughs> Funnily enough, Elden Ring, like from software games, are the most completed games. I think somehow. Yeah, just it's kind of. It feels like the. It, it kind of feels like the the point of it, and you know, the more you play it, the easier the game gets. Yeah. So there's that. Like if that, you actually that is start true, yeah. collecting shit, they're like, "Oh, I can actually survive now." <laughs> you know? But I don't know. So. I I don't know. I'll because I I want to like Assassin's Creed. That's the thing about it. Because I I don't want I don't want games to come out and not like them. You know what I mean? That's that sucks for everybody. You know, like it, it always bothers yeah. me when that happens. And I remember I loved Assassin's Creed two and Brotherhood. I fell off immediately after that because like once I finished Brotherhood, mm. I was like, that was good, but it was also kind of just the same again. And I don't feel like going through the Pokemon situation all over again. <laughs> but, you know, I, I don't know. I played almost all of them. 
Um, but I will say that there was only like a handful that I actually enjoyed playing. And that whole thing where you're in the anime, I hate, I always hate it. Yeah. I, it always. The fact yeah, that they're dumb. still doing it at all. The anime? Yeah, where you like, yeah, the anal miss or whatever. Like the fact that they're doing it still is it's because it, it, I don't know. I, I've never met a single person that like, yeah, this shit fucking rules, man. I love stop playing the fucking cool part, and then I walk around with like some asshole. Just, I, it's always bad. The only time it was even remotely okay was when uh, it was Desmond, like, and he actually started doing some like fucking assassin type shit. I think it was in three, three, three. He yeah. actually did that, then he died. Yeah, and then he fucking gets his like head blown off or some <laughs> shit. <laughs> they they were so clearly like excited to kill him. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, I don't know. Yeah. yeah. As far as like when these these are coming out, I I, I think uh, Skull and Bones I think has to come out because that game is made under contract with the government of Singapore. Oh, I fuck. don't know why. I don't know why. <laughs> yeah, it's but weird. it's a genuine like the government of Singapore has a say in that game, and so it has to come out because what? it's contractual. I'm not even fucking kidding. Yeah. Uh, so that game has to come out, and it will come bizarre. out. And if it's broken, then that's just gonna have to be the way it is. Uh, Beyond Good and Evil 2, I don't think is ever coming out. I think that game is fucking shovelware. And uh, nice. I think that's that Prince of Persia game's fucked. The no one fact cares they about Prince lost the game's cop file. <laughs> it's crazy. What, for, how does that happen? Because it's so many files. There's so many. I, there's so many copies of. They don't have one copy of those files. I don't know, man. Yeah, it doesn't. Like, that almost like sounds like every, some. Like everyone sounds like that's something. Sounds like, an has it. sounds like an excuse. To not release something yeah, that like, uh, like, nobody wants. Yeah. Like, like have, it sounds I have, impossible. I have friends that do that do game capture. We, me and Chris have a bunch of friends who do game capture, right? When you're sent a rig of a game, there are a ton of copies of it that are that's near done. They're nearly done. They're bugged versions of it that you're able to do different sorts of things, but there's that's still a copy of the game. Yeah, itself. I don't know. It, it, it sounds of, impossible or del it, like deliberate almost. It really, it really. I is. honestly don't even know if this. Like he wrote, he wrote in about this. I don't even know if this is true. So let me look it up. Prince of Persia deleted because mm. I don't know. I, I didn't. He, I didn't. I didn't hear about this. Uh, there's one that got canceled. Uh, there's no news uh -oh, about it. What did it. Prince of Persia say? What do you say to get canceled? <laughs> what did the What did the Prince of Persia say? <laughs> That's insane. Uh, <laughs> I, I don't know. I'm not seeing any news about it, but like I don't know. It's not important. That game's fucked though. Like nobody cares about Prince of Persia anymore. Right. Uh, Remember Jake Gyllenhaal? I think he was a uh, Prince of Persia, right? Oh yeah, yeah that's right was. in the movie. Yeah. Oh my god! Yeah. Like, like this, like, Remember the like, Assassin's like, like, Creed like, movie like, with Michael Fassbender? Uh, Michael Fassbender. Yeah. Jesus Christ! I remember they were they were all hyped on the on the stunts and stuff too. I I, I saw more I saw more footage of them doing stunts than the actual movie. Because because I was like, oh, it's interesting. They're actually going all out on the stunts. I didn't see the movie. Like, look, like, Andrew, people are like, oh, representation, blah, blah, blah. How the fuck are you going to do a Prince of Persia game and make Jake Gyllenhaal the Prince of Persia? That's Like, how awesome, the fuck you going to do that? That's like doing a Black Panther game and making Lin-Manuel Miranda Black Panther. It's yeah. like, nigga, what are you doing? Like, what, is, what are you doing? Just get a Persian. There's so many Persian people. Just get yeah, one of them that can act. Lin-Manuel Miranda as Persian Black Panther. Do you know what he's? I like that. He'd though. be rapping though. He'd be rapping his ass off though. <laughs> yeah. He'd be spit his ass off, and I'd be like, "Look, he's a, he's I know a, any a, Persian actors? A, you know, I don't know any Persian actors. There are, have to be Persian actors. I mean, John Tron. Definitely... There have to be. Come on, John... stop. <laughs> Who'd you say? They, they use John Tron. <laughs> they so use fucking... John Jafar. <laughs> that would be fucking incredible. <laughs> they use John Tron as fucking Prince of Persia. I'd be <laughs> what? Like, he's so uninterested, <laughs> but they give him so much money. They give him so much money. He's he like, does right, not want to be in that fuck movie, it. but he gets so much money. He's like, it'd be dumb. It'd he be dumb would, he would, just he, do he, it. He would say no. He would kill the musical scenes. I bet. Yeah, he would. Hey, the the you know? the, the non-musical scenes, of Prince of Persia. All <laughs> the was, musical scenes, of Prince of Persia. Yeah, yeah, they'll, they'll put him in. They'll, they'll they'll put him in. That's part of his contract. Yeah, anyway, musical scenes. Yeah, I gotta sing. All right, uh, let's uh, move on. Dingalo. Wrote in. He says, hey, boys, I got a question for Chris. If RPGs, spe okay, specifically turn-based RPGs, are just DVD menus, does that make first-person shooters just browsers since you're moving a cursor at something and clicking on it? Makes sense, right? No. Shut yeah. up. <laughs> sort of, but, like, stop. 
It is. Uh, I know what you're saying. It like obviously, if you boil down anything, it it can be that that tripe. Sure. But uh, I just hate, that's just so disrespectful. The fact that people are saying that turn based RPGs are just menus. Well, that's I, so I said wildly that. disrespectful. <laughs> no, you, I heard you say that, and I've seen it online. Like this is a menu, and I don't know if they got it from you or you, or you got it from somewhere else, or just other people awaken to that same stupid idea at the same time. But it's so disrespectful to RPGs as a whole. <laughs> I know. That's I, so I, I, rude, dude. <laughs> I know because I've played some of them and I understand. Like I like, I like some of them, but it's just like it. Look, like, it'll never be my preferred. Like my That's, first, the first thing I, the first right. thing I'm gonna play on any given day, never gonna be like a turn-based RPG. Generally speaking, yeah. But I uh, get it. I mean, I get, yeah. I get it. I mean, come on, like, although it's one of those things where you can enjoy it. It's like people making fun of anime niggas, right? Like you, you, you can make fun of them, but like still, like at the same time, like I enjoy some anime too. Like, yeah, you know yeah, what I mean, exactly. Like, yeah, it's, it's just hard I, for me to. It's not anime that ruined it. It's like, it, as adults. It, yeah, it's yeah. I don't it, know. It, yeah, it, 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 I, it's the fandom, the people. The uh, <laughs> I don't remember what I was gonna say. <laughs> Whatever, it doesn't matter. The, Let's the, move on. the problem with <laughs> yeah, yeah. anime, the problem with anime is that anime is geared towards young people, and what happened is that young people, since we're young, then they're they're young. Things that they love become their whole personality because they haven't finished yeah. creating who they are yet. And I, it's, I don't it's want to also, just say young, weird people. Well, it's, well, the, I would the, I would also say specifically that it's the first example of of because usually the the general uh, the general chronology is you watch cartoons for like little babies, right? And then you watch cartoon, cartoon like proper like even if it's not like for for babies, it's just like a little bit more like. A little bit more sophisticated. You go from Blue's Clues to something like, I don't know, Billy and Mandy or Spongebob, right? It's clearly, like, it's more mature, but it's not, like, you know, Celebrity Deathmatch or something. And then at some yeah. point, <laughs> you go to, like, live-action television. You know, like, or, or Breaking Bad and, and, and you know, uh, Barry and Game of Thrones and that stuff. But most people, when they're young, or at least in my experience and the people that I knew growing up, your first exposure to anything that's really serious narratively is anime because it's a cartoon so your kid brain is like ooh a cartoon and then it's like deeper than a cartoon you're like what the fuck whoa and then your mind is like blown that there can be like these deeper like characters and and, like these things that like oh I relate to this you're not relating to fucking Billy and Mandy you know like that's not happening but you're probably going to relate to like if you are that scary th- that that that's is very scary terrifying. but so what happens is i think it's like this situation where like you you just sort of it's your first exposure to intense connection to fictional characters probably like your first real yeah, I, uh example i get of that. that the the only thing i say uh, cuz uh, like i don't like, here's the thing i don't have a problem with anime i have a problem with some types of anime and like they're chibi oh, moments yeah, 100%, that shit's yeah, stupid easily. um and the thing is, I didn't really experience that stuff growing up because of other than the little bits and pieces that were in Dragon Ball Z. Because my first exposures to anime was through my neighbor's dad. And he was like, oh, Ninja Scroll, Fist of the North Star, Giver. Yeah. It was just like brutal shit that didn't have a bunch of chibi bullshit. And then so when I finally got onto like Toonami where I got a little taste of like um, well, I think I was watching Dragon Ball Z on Toonami first. I don't think I was watching on anything else before that. Um, that's when I started seeing some of the little parts of this. But I was old enough to be like, ah, that's a little dumb. But I like everything else. And then I watched uh, like uh, uh, what was it, Brotherhood, uh, Full Metal Alchemist, where I'm like, same thing. Love this, hate the little chibi crap. But and I imagine the kids that grew up watching that stuff with all that shit, they 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 gravitated towards that. Like I, and then they became like. Because I don't see, like, fandoms for, like, fucking, you know, Kenshiro and Fist, you know? I don't see, like, I don't see, like, you know what I mean? There, there's just all this weird well, shit. Well, Kenshiro like, uh, is old, that's why, the same Well, that's time. what I mean, but, like, say, the, and, and but it's also, like, not stupid, you know what I mean? There isn't, it isn't, like, like I say, keep like, saying chibi. Like, look, like, like let me, like, I'll, I'll be, as, as if someone like who a, was, what was, like, that? Cat when I was younger, dude. I was a weeb, right? I admit it. I was, a, I was a weeb, right? I wasn't, like, dressing as a weeb, but I was a very serious anime watcher. I'd watch anime, like, every day. I was watching a bunch of them. Like, I was a big anime fan, right? And yeah. the thing Pokemon. that the difference between me and a lot of them 
was that like I liked anime. I enjoyed those things. Like you know the RDC guys like that. I was like one of those where like I was like a black kid who like played basketball and that stuff. But I liked anime a lot. Yeah, I was a big fan yeah, of it. Yeah. So was our friend Jalen. Jalen was another person that we just liked anime a lot. But we were we were a little older. We were a little older, so it wasn't we weren't defining who we were by them. The ones that are weird are the ones that that is literally their personality. And a lot of people grow out of it. A lot of people that were like that just grow out of it. Eventually, yeah. like, oh, I don't know. Yeah, like, anime yeah, because you find like you that. find more you find more things. Other things. Well, the, th- yeah. well, the thing yeah. is, it's like there's yeah. something. It's just cringe for that period of time. You see, you're like, oh my god, shut the well, fuck up. <laughs> I, you know what I think it is actually? It's it's there's a cring- there's a special kind of cringe to it because like there are people who are like really really because when you're that age or when you're like young in general and you're getting into something. It's always very, very intense. Like, there are people who are, like, really, really intense about music, right? Or, like, the, maybe music is the thing that they find. It's like, oh, my God. It becomes, like, it's it's their main, like, it's how they define themselves. And it's, like, their main interest. And, in, like, it's it's how they express outward. And that's that's them, right? But yeah. the thing about music is that, like, music is music is music. It's just, like, you listen to it and you can't translate what you get from music into your everyday personality in the same way that like there are people i'll put it this way there are people that i remember in high school who literally would model their speech patterns after anime 100 percent, yeah you know what i mean where it's like that's different like you're you're it's one thing to be obsessed with something and it's like i'm obsessed with music or i'm also obsessed it's with, foreign like, too it's also also, foreign. also it's foreign so, so it's, it's like weird so, it's so you're gonna basic... be weird by the nature of it being foreign <laughs> yeah yeah I, don't know, it's I, a whole I think that's thing. why I thought that shit was so. I think that's why all that chibi shit so weird to me because culturally that shit was just not over here. So when I would see all that weird, awkward shit happening, or how like they, you know, of course there's always awkward high school boys and they, they can't talk to girls and all this shit. But how hyper exaggerated it is into like shows like a Tenchi Muyo or something, like where for, I'm just like, like I but, agree, like I understand because that shit. Because my first animes were Sailor Moon. Car Catcher Sakura, those kinds yeah. of things. Yeah. Those were my first animes. And those are still like I hold Car Captor Sakura and, and Sailor Moon and fucking like um Sailor Antaro. Moon I kinda understand because it was like it was designed to capture to to be influential, right? It kinda like Power Rangers you know in that you way, you know crazy? what I mean? Those I think are the reasons why I like the girly things of a design. I'm capable of sitting through fully girly things as I grew up. Mm. I think because I sat through those shows looking yeah. for just seeing any any slip up of animation. I was looking for I was looking for anything. I was just like <laughs> you trying to oh oh, oh this is a titty. This, oh but shit. Like I did <laughs> that and that and I think that developed me into the person I am now where I'm like, mm. I can sit down and I can just watch like a, a fucking rom com about like a girl thing, and like, and I can watch it. and I can be like, I really didn't hate that. As much as, I, as, much as my heart wants to be like, that was stupid as fuck. Right. I'm like, I actually like that. I actually really enjoyed it. I'll give anything an honest again. shake, man. I'll give anything an honest. I've like, I've I've been told like, I was like, oh, you should watch because uh, I brought up Tinchi Muyo one time, and like, oh, you should watch uh, Girls Bravo because it was very, it was had the same energy, and I was like. Dude, this shit's whack. It's just, it's not like this. Is, it's not for me. I get what it is because it's like, oh, there's another world where there's only ten percent men. So all the girls, are, and I'm like, I, I, okay, I understand what, what this. I understand who this is marketed towards. That's fire, I'm a grown bro. ass man. This, this would have been cool when I was fucking twelve years old, right? Uh, yeah. But like, it, it was just one of those things. I, I still. That being said, everything. I still think it's perfectly valid to make fun of um, anime niggas, man. Like, just people that are just <laughs> like hardcore into it. You make fun of them, but you still like. Oh, I like anime. I'll watch an anime every once in a while. But like, just make fun make of those fun people, of them, man. It's totally remember, okay. Remember to tell the truth. That's the thing. Yeah. <laughs> no. Tell the truth. Lie. Like, make fun of them. Make fun of them. No Insult lie. The fuck keep, out of those no things. lie. Like, keep lying. But remember the truth. You don't even gotta tell the truth. You don't even gotta say you watch anime. Remember, deep inside, you one of them too. <laughs> just remember. <laughs> remember. Remember I, um, the truth. I watched the dot first episode. Forever. Dot com. Why? I watched the first episode of uh, um, of uh, uh, the Last Airbender uh, last week. The first because I was like, yeah, because I've never seen it before. Wow, and people are like, you've never seen it, so I watched the first episode and I was like, I it, it just it 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 I can't. Um, it's not that it was bad or anything. It was just it is it's so heavily marketed towards kids that it doesn't really. It as a thirty five year old man, the it, it's just not. The beginning is yes, not the whole series. The beginning very much so is. It's a mm. kid's show, the beginning. But it's then a kid's, it gets, yeah, so it gets more just, weight as it goes on, but I, you're also very old, you know? 
Yeah, you're that's way, why I'm like, oh, I should have watched this fucking 10, yeah. 15 years ago or whatever. Yeah, I, you, you might have <laughs> missed the boat. And that's what happens. Sometimes you miss the boat for things. Like, I missed the boat for um, Five Nights at Freddy's. I think I would have not hate Five Nights at Freddy's. I think I would have liked uh, it because I see it now and I'm like, I think it's funny. The scares yeah. and like them peeking around the corner and Freddy Fazbear saying the N-word. I think that's funny as hell. Yeah. But, <laughs> but like, I just, I missed the ball. I just, yeah, I just, that's great. For me. <laughs> yeah, I just, I don't know. Yeah. Anyway. Fuck. Like, I want to know why there's so much N-word law for Freddy Fazbear. Like, there's more <laughs> that he doesn't like black people. And I don't know. I want to know where it comes from. <laughs> people being fucking edgy, I there's guess. There's <laughs> lore. And I'm like, he doesn't like black people? Why? And I want to, like, look up why he doesn't like black people. But I just, I, it's too late for me. I like the idea. That, I like the implication that you're going to find a reason that is satisfactory. <laughs> In lore. Like, oh, there's a reason why. Like, <laughs> like oh, that Freddy rap battle? <laughs> <laughs> that, uh, what was that? What was that? The, uh, what do I have to search to find there, that? So what there is, search? there is a, there is, there is a video. Kingston and I have been watching it for a year. I, did I? I'm pretty sure I found it because I remember like I was you trudging around. I, I found it and I put it on for Kingston, and uh, it's <laughs> it's been a go to video for us. It's called I think Epic Rap Battles of Cancer. Is it is it Squidward versus Freddy Fazbear? <laughs> It's it's Freddy Fazbear versus <laughs> Slender Man. Oh, Slender, that's right. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, no, it was it was the one I was thinking of was Squidward versus Nigward. <laughs> and it was just black squid. I couldn't believe it is a fucking. It's it's a horrible. It, it's it, the video sucks. The video, the video sucks. Sucks, but it's also one of the greatest videos I've ever seen. In my it's life. it's like Freddy got fingered in a way where it's like it's not that it's good; it's that like you're surprised that it's real. Yeah. You know, like it's like okay, it's, I got it. it's, <laughs> it's. I got it. It's just so unnecessarily racist, and it's like it's these kids, so it makes it extra surreal. I don't know, like the. It's really just the first minute of that video. It's like the rest of it, honestly, is the it's not. The first minute of that video is not good crazy. enough. Crazy, epic rap battles. I wonder if it's still up. Of cancer. Yeah, it's still up. Yes. Uh, <laughs> Two hundred and fifty-seven k. That's <laughs> all. Pop. All of hey, that yo, is yo, yo, yo. Hey, a year ago, it, uh, one of the comments says, "Only Tom Sweeney would vouch for this so heavily." <laughs> oh my God, you're lying! <laughs> I'm not lying. It's the uh, like the fifth comment down for me. I literally came here uh, because of that Snark Tank episode a year ago. So now it's gonna be it's another one. <laughs> it's gonna be another <laughs> another wave. Yeah. I'm pretty sure we are like we are so like, yes. Yeah, Snark Tank was right. Truly a hood classic. <laughs> <laughs> I just saw that. <laughs> oh my god, we are uh, solely responsible that, for that, this fucking that video. video. That video, the I video that. of the um of the the clown getting shot inside of the house. Oh right, right. Like the, those the are the videos that we have brought so much traffic to, well after their conceptions, and it makes me so happy. I that- love, I I I love that. I unironically love seeing that shit. Yeah. It's almost well, like I'll even forget. Go ahead. No, I was gonna say like it's, it's almost like going to a different planet and like planting a flag. It's like we found this. Now everybody, and everybody, <laughs> yeah, yeah, everybody yeah, yeah. who comes here is like that's the Snark Tank flag. This is a, a hood I feel classic. Like, I feel like Columbus. Yeah, I feel dude. like like it existed. Someone made it before me, and it existed. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But the reason but it's why ours. it's hot is because of me. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's ours, it's ours 100, now. One hundred, dude. I, I made that. that shit hot. You know. <laughs> Col- I this video of a horse falling into water. That I've shown all of my friends. Did I show you that video, Chris? Of course you should. Yeah, the the horse <laughs> falling off the bridge. Yeah. <laughs> have, have you seen it yet, Derek? I don't know if I want to see that, bro. Let's go. I got it's you. Not, it's I'm not, not a big. I'm not a big fan of. Uh, it's, it's not, not graphic. Hurt. It's not graphic at all. It's it's not. <laughs> it, I will say, like, I'm I'm really queasy with that stuff too. I don't like animal stuff, but like, it's it is funny because I don't know is what's it like going a, on. Like a very tall bridge, like. No, it, it's it's just. Uh, I, was, it's like, I don't know, like the Golden it, Gate Bridge, the horse just no, fucking no, it's not, it's not fucked like that. It's not, it's not. It's it's hilarious because it's it's just so. You'll see it. You'll see it. Wait, it's it's just jarring to see. I think is really the main thing. It's yeah, like, like it's not like, violent. I didn't, I didn't love. I didn't 
love seeing that monkey hit the ground when it tried to jump from the tree. That shit is funny as fuck, bro. That's I, I, I did love fuck, that. That's a hard. That's a hard video to it watch. Funny, but also, but I, what's that funny about so that? What's funny? What's funny, dude. what's funny about the video? That video though is is the fact that he's on the ground. He hits the ground, and then it's like. <laughs> just like ever so fucking what <laughs> makes that video so funny is he gets up like a human yeah yeah it's so fucking stunned it's so like oh <laughs> like, it's like he fucking flashbanged himself it's so funny Look, i put it i put it in the i put it in the riverside chat is that the like, horse the fact that the horse get the fact that the monkey gets up like a person it jumps it hits the ground like a monkey <laughs> and then it's a person so confusing oh. <laughs> What's going on? What's <laughs> it's just a perfect like. What's the going absolute on? Absolute lack of any context. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> That's what makes it so fucking funny. <laughs> like, I went to I went to a house party at someone's house. I not I didn't know them at all, and a bunch of my friends were there. And I started showing people that video, and it got to the point that people weren't at the party anymore. People were discussing the video, <laughs> like off to the side. Like there was like twenty people yeah. at this party, and it got to a point where it was just like everyone was just discussing the video over like somewhere else. And the host of the party was like, "Where's everybody? Oh." What are you guys watching? It was insane. It's because <laughs> there's no context for it. it. And even if there was, it starts too late for even if the, if even if there was context for it, it starts, it starts, at starts too late to me. It starts at the <laughs> end of the context. And then yeah, it ends yeah, yeah. and it ends after like immediately. It's I don't even think it's a second long. <laughs> it's like it's two maybe seconds a long. second. It's a two second long video. I don't even know if it's two seconds. Dude. It's two seconds max. <laughs> it may say two seconds, but it's... <laughs> that's a second. Oh my god! I, I guess what my my assumption is. So you see hands. You so, see hands. Well, obviously you somebody pushed. For... It. But so what you is what boots. is your reading? What is it? This is almost this almost feels like a like a like trying to figure out the souls story without reading any of the. <laughs> Without reading any yeah. of the lore. Like, what is your interpretation of this? Because my interpretation is this is a dead horse. Yeah. And horse they're just like, and, and they're like, how do we get rid of this? I don't know. <laughs> Toss it in the lake. There's one me. thing. So it's the horse that is that not the even horse remotely moving. Just fell off the bridge. The but horse... the horse is not. It's not even like, if you look at it, it's not even. Because if, you, if you're creaming <laughs> over. A bridge. You're probably because there's gonna be some sort of panic. No, but horses aren't. Horses don't have that level of motion in their body. You know. What the hell are you so talking about? They don't. Horses don't have the horses don't have the ability to flail like we do. And it's it's yeah, full, it's, yeah, quick. Yeah, it's yes, a they do. second. It just I know fell. It's, a, it's a second, but it's just like when you fall, it only takes a second to fall on the floor, right? But you're not just fucking timbering over like you. <laughs> you you try to put you you do something. Something happens. Right, like so. I don't you're, think you're, horses what? have that, that. I don't think horses are that dexterous, man. I don't think they're dexterous creatures. I, I, what do you, mean? dude? They have legs that could flail. What are you talking about? I don't about? think. I don't think. A, I think that horse was walking, and then someone pushed it off. <laughs> Maybe like that like could if, possibly be the other thing. No, no, but, uh, it's more it than should, likely it's, dead. It's too damn stiff to just not be dead <laughs> or stunned, know, man. Yeah, after could my seventy fifth watch, I still think it could be a lot. <laughs> All right, let's watch. let's 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 get the fuck out of here. Yeah, uh, yeah, let's get. Out this of is here. the yeah. most insane video I've ever seen in my life. Still, like this video, constantly, mm. every time I watch it, it brings more smiles to my face because it's such a ridiculous video. Yeah, it's pretty crazy. <laughs> God damn, I gotta go get dinner. Let's end this. I, I can't right. fucking do this. Yeah, let's. Thanks for thanks for <laughs> supporting this fucking show. Uh, <laughs> come on, come over to <laughs> patreon.com slash the Stark Tank. There's a bunch of a uh, bunch of little goodies over there. I don't fucking yep. know what the <laughs> like. This video, man. I every time I see it, it really. I always forget exactly what it looks like, you know, and then the I, I, yeah, I remember the premise, but I always forget exactly like the, I forget the cut, the, the character design of the horse. I forget like the time, like the time of day. There's no character design. It's the, the way the horse looks. It's not character design. 
No, a it's... person didn't model the horse. <laughs> no, it wasn't know. like a brew full of yeah. people like, hey, let's do concept art. It was just a horse. <laughs> you know, you're... Anyway, you're being very assuming right now. <laughs> you are, yeah, you're kind of speaking for a lot of people right now. All right, sorry, sorry for people that made this horse. Imagine there's concept art of the horse and the bridge, <laughs> the horse and the bridge, and then the way the water looks. You really wanted to get the feel of the water, but my friend wanted to be magma. Magma doesn't splash that way, so we chose to go with water. Yeah, yeah Kale, Kale is in uh, Kale is in heaven with God, looking down at us, being like, "That's content." Yeah, <laughs> that's, that's, <laughs> I gotta talk to Kale again. I haven't seen him in a while. All right, his birthday, <clears throat> so you're not going. When's his birthday? It's in like a week. Oh yeah, isn't there like a, he's doing like a rave thing, right? Yeah, it's a big, it's a big thing. I'm yeah, I'm I guess gonna I'll be go. There. Yeah, I'll go. All right. All right, I'm going to read out the names of our $25 and up patrons now, so count me down. Let's do this. All right, three, two, one. The athletic cup that all the Spider-Men share, uh, putting blackface on my light bulbs? Nice. (laughs) What? I vomit on myself to become a portable slip and slide. A naked Dennis Prager, bare knuckle boxing an angry panda bear in front of a live studio audience. Uh, I love that. Florida f- f- and winning, yeah. <laughs> Florida, f- <laughs> the baby fucking dies. That yeah, YouTube boob is fucking legendary, man. It's uh, so good. A naked, yeah. Okay, I read that. Florida felon femboy on death row. Derek, some white guy. Doc nice. Jenkins and the Tism schism. Wait, Let's go. <clears throat> Did you die? No, I just got a confusing message. Uh, Doc Jenkins and the Tism Schism. Damn it, Sweeney. How many times do I have to tell you to stop sending me news to your girlfriend? I'm reading, bro, I'm reading the credits. She pippin' on my Pippa. Possum. Yes, that's my real name. Mike Oxlong. I see what you tried there, but, you know. That's a, that's an ancient one. You gotta do better than that. Piss bed. Domination. Average clit energy. Jared from Subway has a cameo in Sharknado 2. Star Coffee. Harambe Ooh. versus tw- uh, 20 elementary schoolers in the gulag. Lindsey Graham's Little Ladybugs. I'm oh, white, that. but my dad left. Do I get a pass? <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. That's tricky. <laughs> yeah. Yes. There is a chair. <laughs> he's going to get beat up one day, and he's going to cite us for the reason, like, he... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right? yeah. Uh, I'm, all right. I'm wiping my dad. There's a chair at the end of my bed for my cat, and I call it his sneako seat, Transfem Gremlin. Love it. <sighs> Nigga, what the hell's going on? Because I, 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 I don't know. I read that, and it never it never occurred to me what that means. There's a chair at the end of my bed for my cat, and I call it a sneako seat. Do you fuck in front of your animals if you have pets? I don't. I That's wouldn't. weird, right? That's barbaric. Yeah, there's people, but you hear stories about, oh, we're having sex, and the dog jumped on the bed. I'm like... What the, put the dog in the other close fucking the room. What are you talking about? Yeah, close the close fucking the door. door. Fuck, don't fucking let your... The people are just... They just people are just I just, fucking, all right, I just wanted to make sure that we were all on the same page. That that's like a yeah, weird... Yeah, that's white woman that's, energy right there. Yeah, that's Hoping fucking the dog crazy. Gets, like, kind of gets in on it. And like, oh, I didn't know that was going to happen. That's you white know? woman energy. That's a fucking statement right there. That's you go to bed and there's dog hair all over the bed. And it's like a one-night night stand so you can't say anything. <laughs> anyway... <laughs> Uh, can Logan Paul abandon a million pigs? Transfem, transfem Gremlin. I think I read that already. My sexual awakening was the quirky goth girl from NCIS. Now my taste in women is ruined. Yush Asker, the angelic master, would like to ask you what you're about to do about the raiders that have just entered the tavern. Imagine you in a conversation with your friend, and your friend farts for ten minutes and starts deflating. Ha ha ha. That would be pretty funny. You should draw that. Craig the Canadian. Uh, it's your boy Shawnee D. Southern Sweet Tea. Matt Walsh is a hero of our time. Sweet Baby Gang for Life. Indie Butter Knife on YouTube. Dot com. What is with these homies? This and my girl. Uh, this just in. Joe Rogan found in the back of my 1997 Toyota Hi- Hilux. Never even heard of that. Dressed as and doing a pretty solid impression of Miss Piggy. 3XO finding out what? that Chris Chan's Sonichu necklace works the same way as Thor's hammer. <laughs> Hell yeah, that'd dude. be nuts. <laughs> if that Sonichu necklace was like a like. If you wore the Sonichu necklace and you became ostensibly Christian. Could you imagine oh, no. people held you down and you were like, please don't put it on me. And they were like, sorry. <laughs> you're like, yeah. no, please, please. And then like, sorry. Yeah, you don't have to be worthy. You just, it just, it just works. It's a curse. <laughs> you put on it works. <laughs> so you Could to... you imagine feeling <laughs> no, you yourself do, you do slowly have to be, you... transforming him? 
<laughs> you do have to be worthy, but everyone qualifies, so it's it's redundant. <laughs> <laughs> Only like six people aren't worthy, and there's no a good reason why they're not. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh if my you, God. like if you've ever if you ever had a moment of enjoyment in Sonic, period, it could happen to you. Like if you've ever like there's ever a moment where Sonic is brought up and you've had enjoyment and it's really in you it happens. So only oh, people man. that really hate Sonic it can happen to. Even the people who hate Sonic <laughs> would it would because their hatred of Sonic brings them joy. It would have oh, to be people who, it would have to be people who don't know da- it'd probably be everybody in Japan actually because Japan doesn't like Sonic somehow. I, I learned that recently. <laughs> He's less he, they don't like he's less popular over there. No no he's no, no. He, he, like there. they straight up don't like he like in Se- like Sega in America, their ma- their mascot is ostensibly Sonic. Basically, like he's on, like I know people who work for Sega literally, and on their applications, on the on the paperwork that they get, Sonic is there as their mascot. In Japan, so, their mascot is an alien, and his name is Sammy. So if you guys don't remember, um, in the what is it the. The, the the two bombs from uh, Hi- uh, Hiroshima and uh, Nagasaki. There was uh, where could this uh, possibly f- be going? Big boy or fat boy, whatever those stupid bombs were called. There were there was little boy the, and thin there man. Was little, um, I don't think that's or f- it, it, close enough. Fat man and thin, thin man. Little no, boy. it's fat, it, there's fat, fat boy, man it's and fat like, man and little. It's nigga. fat man and little boy. And little fat nigga, fat man and little nigga. That's hilarious. And, nigga. <laughs> and on fat man and little nigga, there was uh, drawings of it because it was a weird thing that they did in the in the army. There was these drawings of hedgehogs on the bombs, and the last thing those the <laughs> last thing they saw. <laughs> What's that? Is is that a is that a hedgehog? Boom! <laughs> and then, and then, so they hate then hot. Sonic. Then all the nitrogen <laughs> then, in the air ignited. Hot. <laughs> That's so crazy. That's then, so evil. All right, let's move on. Fucking slurping, slurping, stroking, smoking, joking. Emoticons going like this. Morning owlet. She, knee, tie. Fat boy, little nigga. <laughs> <laughs> you know what's been funnier? The funniest thing about his idea for me is that I like you. Ever, you've heard of this, right? I've told Chris's story before. That, like, Oppenheimer, country... Oppenheimer, me, made... <laughs> <laughs> little nigga. <laughs> He's like one of them's got to be named that. One of them has to be named that. Oh, That's what the Lil comes from. The whole Oppenheimer about... made Lil. He made that prefix up. That's his <laughs> creation. He's just campaigning the entire movie. That's all it's about. Oh. Y'all got to name one of them Lil Nigga. You, you got to. If you don't, I can't. We will not I'm, move forward. It's Josh, <laughs> it's Josh Peck. <laughs> Caesar Little. Uh, Drip MH, Lord of Drip. Nancy Pelosi killing a fallacy over the massive tits. Obi won't you blow me. Sween, you have something between your teeth. I read Richard Horvitz, and he's the sweetest person I've ever met. Also the wall. Okay, you said it right. Abby, mm. something funny and topical. Gay Sunday voice, chocolate queer. Gagging is all you could hear. Or chocolate gay, sucking dick every day. I, I appreciate... Chocolate gay is not bad. It, uh, it's, it, you, leave it to the professionals. <laughs> yeah, I, I would just say that. It's, it's, you're, 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 in, you're in the right area, but you don't, you don't have the right tools. All right? You don't have the, the, the swim armor to get up the waterfall into the sky island that you got to get to, all right? So I'm, lo- I'm looking at a graph of Japanese uh, temperature, right? Shut up. Why? <laughs> That's all I got to say. That is all I got to say. Everyone is like, bro, stop. <laughs> what? Is wrong with That's you, bro? So stupid. <laughs> oh my god, wage, wage slave five eighty three. <laughs> oh man, I promise you, we're 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 decently good people. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It would Blue not come across. I'm gonna see if it's real though. Shut up. I feel gay. Fuck you. The Papini Brothers Emporium presents the latest in cuck technology sneak vision. Good fight, Chris. Spaceballs, the patron, gay version of Beethoven's Moonlight Sonata. Uh, with no lyrics added, but you play the p- how the <laughs> but you play the piano like a like a like an F slur. I've said oh, it a million gotcha. times. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna give you more. There's already I don't, I don't mind saying it, but it's too it's too annoying. Tell tell Steve Dave understood or tell him Steve Dave ah 
Limp Biscuits and Gravy, John Strickland. I am announcing it right now. Our next parody is Epsler's in Paris. Uh, uh, Merck's 1889. Eileen Ulick. Oh, nice. Eileen Ulick. All right. I, I see. Uh, you know. That's hot. That's fine. Okay. Uh, the First Church of Keith. You're stretching. The First Church of Keith David featuring Ben Shapiro's low poly beard. <laughs> <laughs> you guys, yeah, yeah. you guys should play Ultra Kill. It's among the best shooters of all time. I heard really good things about it. I just, uh, I don't have, time. I have it. It's very good. You played it? Yeah, it's good. I feel like I would it, like it. it. I just haven't gotten around to it. I, I'm playing a, that like, Warhammer Bolt Gun. Uh, that's I don't like pretty shooting games. Good. I realize that, so I'm like, oh, yeah. That's not my shooters. kind of game, but I played a lot of them. Uh, yeah, that's weird. You should. Play Ultra Kill. It's among the best. All right, Pre-Rise, Blake eight nine six. Church of getting kicked in the face by Cami. Few more days. Few more days. No, one more day, bro. Tomorrow oh, yeah, right. night. Tomorrow night. That's right. Tomorrow night, bro. Have you seen the thing with her and Chun Li walking out? And I tweeted, "Dog, I would need a metal pair of pants to watch this fight." <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty good. Nine <clears throat> eleven themed baby shower. It's twins. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> Dude, what the? This has been such a fucked up episode, man. I don't know. <laughs> Kingston just fucking quacked. <laughs> <laughs> Alaskan oil field trash. Sue Hulk. Tickle my ass hairs. Nikki Ziggy. Marcus chainsawing through a locust while autistically screaming, Dom, I am a surgeon. Lobotomize Jesus. It. Can't wait to lick on Hulk Hogan's sloppy, wet, fat fucking pussy like a dog in a water bowl. <laughs> Uh, the sounds so of mommy and daddy fighting downstairs, but it's drowned out by Derek and Sween's slang argument. Every time I come, it sounds like Squidward walking. Jackson DuPont, <laughs> badly brave. <laughs> Hugger Derek, to the rhythm of bulls on parade. Come on command. Aetherian, progerian hunter. Melfus, Melfus one, heir to the throne of haphazard. And rounding out our list as always. <clears throat> the executive producer of the Star Tank at this point. <laughs> Fucking yep. king of haphazard. Meeting him was so dope, man. It was pretty cool, yeah. Meeting him was yeah. such an experience, man. Like, you, I think that is my favorite Stark Tank experience ever. Like, the show was an unbelievable moment, but meeting King of Haphazard was such a wild experience. Because I saw him, and he was like, hey, dude, and I was my... like, can I hug you? <laughs> can I please <laughs> give you a hug, dude? You've yeah. been there since the beginning. It was cool. I it took him back really up to my hotel room, dude. That was a great, great night. You fucking, you fucking King of Haphazard, you monster. <laughs> You, you <laughs> fucked him. You <laughs> fucked him. <laughs> I mean, why not? I mean, why oh, not man. fuck the king yeah. of haphazard? All right. Well, <laughs> that's it. Yeah. Goodbye. Get out of here. So it didn't <clears throat> affect the heat. It didn't. It was just, it was it was the regular temperature. Like they don't count it.